Look at all this traffic. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? We're going to have to go right to go left. I've never seen so much traffic. What the serious hell is going on? Mm -mm -mm. All right, we're gonna have to go right to go left. Oh boy. Hope I'm not getting a cold. What's up, Sandy? How are you, sweetie? Look at this, uh, traffic is unbelievable. Oh man, help out. I might have to close a window. See, we don't need that. We don't need that. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I'm trying not to smash into a car. Wade Bowen fan, how are you, sweetie? Good to see you. We've been killing it lately having a good time we had a good time last night we sure as hell did Joshy and Ronnie how are you mouse toes how you doing it's still to be determined it depends how fast the temperature drops we're almost closing in on 50 right now uh, so let me see this chat wasn't advancing here the boyfriend says hi well, you just broke my heart. How you doing, quirky girl? I gotta go all the way through this to go back up to get a cup of coffee. Oh, what a day. Now, I think, you know, you can't confuse it with the allergies because a lot of stuff is in bloom right now and it's gone nuts here. Going nuts. How you doing, Brooklyn, babe? Hot water bottle be nice. I like those chemical packs. Those things are amazing. They last like 18 hours. You open it up and it automatically starts to heat up. It never gets too hot. It's not going to be dangerous. You're not going to burn yourself. I wouldn't use it for a child under 14 years old. There's no way I would do that. But those chemical packs are wonderful. We had the, uh, I actually covered my main orange tree tonight because we're going to be in the mid 20s tonight. And let me tell you, that's, I'm not going to beat a, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but you folks have to remember we were in the 80, 82 degrees just last week. So this is a real shock to the system. And of course we don't heat the house and it was 47 degrees this morning. That was an eye opener. But I have a lot of blankets on top of me on the recliner, and then I get up in the morning and I pop the heat on just for, you know, to knock the chill off, and it's all good. So, they're actually telling people to make sure your pipes are covered tonight, so. Some of the coldest areas, they may pop some pipes, I don't know. How you doing, Garrett? Yeah, I know I'm buffering a little bit, I'll be all right. Good evening, Jen. How are you? I had to come all the way up here to make a right-hand turn to get a coffee because the traffic's so heavy the other way. What's up, Timothy? Wash hands, virtual hug. Don't pull your hug out on me, honey. Mouse toes, I enjoyed your... Um, Thing to do with the onion peel and all that stuff. I never figured that stuff would have any uh, value at all. That's pretty cool. I'm a good social. That's good. You'll, you know what? If you're a good socialist, you're way ahead of the game. You're exactly what we need to build the new America, right? Because we will be. Hey, Brenda, how are you? We will be passing. Actually, we've been socialists for a while. We'll go deeper into socialism. Brush with communism, if not fully embrace it. And it should be a very interesting, interesting nation here. Do you ever wear high heels? Uh, not too often. 
not too often. I know I should. I've been I've worn the ones that Chimay gave me. Some beautiful ones that have like a clear top to them. They're lovely. They're like an acrylic, and they're lovely. So yeah, the New World Order. That's right. That's nice, quirky seventy today. That's glorious. I'd love that. Let's um let's get a coffee here. This guy looks like he shat himself. I don't know. I don't know if I guess I'll wear my mask in here. I feel like the odd person out today I've been busy did a lot of uploads quite a few things to talk about tonight so let me get the coffee here That's a that's a four hundred dollar bike sitting there. I can't believe this guy went in there and didn't lock his bike up. Holy smokes! Hello, Amanda. Hello from Astoria, Oregon. I love that. Hey, Jamie, how you doing? God, what's not to like about Astoria? What a place! I can't believe this. Do you think Bird would ever leave his bike like that? What's up, Ted? How you doing? Unlocked bike in this neighborhood. Oh man, these people are so good at grabbing bikes and gone and gone in ten seconds here. Five seconds. That thing's so sunny here because it's so dang cold. It's terrible. Your latest guy in shorts and the sleeveless top. Ooh. Hi again, Rain Dancer. How are you? It's been a busy day for me very busy I got some work done today thought this guy was coming over to bum how is everybody let me give you the official welcome for this evening good to see you James and thank you to all of you who uh, stopped today and checked out the uh, finale of the outside work there'll be little stuff here and there but by and large the big stuff has now been completed on project uh, 
Rancho restoration work here. Let me tell you what the temperature is, uh, Quirky. It's not so much what it is, it's where it's where it's going to be tonight. It's 52 degrees right now, which around here is like, whoa. It's really cold here, too. Down to 23 degrees tonight. It's supposed to snow up here tonight. Yeah, I think that would be a beautiful town to see uh, snow in Astoria. I loved being down there by the Coast Guard station and looking up at the hill there. And they had the old you know looking buildings and you had to you had the fish fry place that fish and chips place the old boat there i don't know what the hell the name of it we had thieves remove a catalytic we are low income bike yeah i'm telling you Cass, it happens what's up moose they can nab a they can nab a catalytic converter in probably 22 seconds they kneel that stuff hey sheila oh thank you brenda aren't you sweet so I'm feeling a little bit punky tonight, but I think it's probably allergies because it's been so windy and there's so much stuff that's been in bloom. Uh, I did cover, hey chef, we went from getting a hailstorm to an ice storm last night. Yeah, I hope it didn't do a lot of damage. Video from earlier, Orchard is amazing. Well, thank you, James. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's beautiful. I live up on the hill. I love that. I really, before I didn't have, before Janet and the boss took me up to Washington State and we traveled all the way up to uh, Anacortes up there, I had no interest in the Northwest at all and that trip was just like a total eye opener to me. How beautiful it is. Coast Guard Station is the cook school for the Coast Guard. That's pretty cool. How you doing Nancy? That bridge is a little uh, daunting when you go across that bridge from Oregon to Washington. And first you have to climb and you've got to go up on this, you know, r ramp or circle and then you go up on top of the bridge and then you drop down this damn, that's pretty spooky. Drop down, it's a pretty, it's nothing gradual about that drop on that bridge. I love this story. It's going to move to Long Beach where it's across the river. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really, really a spectacular area. Very spectacular, uh, lots of natural beauty there. I guess this guy just took a bathroom shower here. I don't know, his big belly's hanging. I'm not even going to show that on camera. I don't know why some people wear a shirt and their big guts just hanging out over the... Uh, yeah, the poor homeless night. We do have warming centers here in town, but of course there's the usual controversy of... You know, people think that they're being slighted, and they don't want to share—they uh, don't want to share a facility with other people. It's like the Crips and the blood. You know, these a lot of these homeless just don't get along. My family live in Washington. Nice, rains a lot there. Yeah, the bridge is awesome. It's a little spooky coming down that side, though, right? I mean, you kind of you kind of climb, and then you come over the the top, and then all of a sudden that baby goes down like on an angle like that that's pretty spooky you're looking way down you can see my video it's pretty wild good evening miss fiddling don't know why but portland bridge is i really have never i'm not one of those people that's scared of bridge crossings or tunnels uh you know just to me to, to me i always i'm always a very logical person i'm like you know what the width of the roadway is the same up on the bridge as it is down on ground so barring an earthquake to jolt me off of it and we all go down well if it happens it happens the dumpster diver i just got done seeing your videos what a great job you did thank you i was on uh, twitch i did a little space girl from planet x over there planet triple x this morning that was a little fun if you're not on twitch make sure to uh, download the app if you'd like to see a little more of Rosie. I was very pleased with the way I look with the uh, weight loss and things. Pretty damn tone looking. And uh, it was good to get the, good to get the old uh, ray gun out today and dance around a little bit and have a little bit of fun um, on there. So that's uh, all lowercase letters. T-girl, T-G-I-R-L underscore Rosie underscore O'Kelly over there. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, and then I do a little bit of goofy shit on TikTok too. Uh, Rosie O'Kelly original uh, on there. So how is everybody doing tonight? Look, um, I I had to turn off my 
message thing notifications today because there's well I'll, I'll tear into this a little while it's been kind of a rough day long beach would have been cool and close to oregon no state taxes yeah that's got to be like a money drain right if you don't have state taxes in sales tax in some states and you're right next to another uh state that has sales tax it's got to be a big drain right she felt and called the past before they got the oh no oh wow sorry to hear that elaine sorry to hear that so we're kind of moving into the dog days of winter now uh, before we get into march i really don't like this period right in here that's a shame she passed before they got there wow it's too too damn bad i hope my signal's okay tonight i hope it's all right uh, so it's been awful busy uh, i didn't go into work a couple hours i had to uh, drop over and see my new doctor today i had to take notes over and all that i came home to water leak i'm partially hanging out oh no neighbor passes by asked me miss brenda what are you doing i told him try to fix my little uh little crap show here he's like move <laughs> we need rain and snow washington sucks everyone dry with taxes and it's people get the government i guess that they want just like california i would always think why does when i first moved here why does everybody always consistently more than two-thirds of the people vote to into yes or whatever they put on the ballot for taxes right i mean they just don't see it they don't there's not a tax that they don't like so it's kind of weird but uh people are starting to reach the breaking point we're at um 495.9 over here and we're at uh 539 for high test on the pump so this is definitely going to be impacting rv travel and a lot of uh travel here um there's really no end in sight on the energy uh stuff i'm i'm still thinking to myself 120 dollars a barrel somewhere in there which will put our gas here about six dollars a gallon somewhere in there somewhere in there. it's a liberal cesspool here you know what you got to change it then rain dancer right people are now moving to texas from california so what you're going to get lurkers you're going to get california uh in texas okay and the smart people are now moving back to california because the pendulum is starting to swing the other way of people that are tired of all this uh, stuff just when you're ramping up for liberalism we're ramping up for uh more conservatism here um bless it's hard for me to answer yeah you're a you're an amazing person brenda i know you like being self-sufficient and all that so uh i would not cheer people moving from california to other uh places so it's it definitely will change nevada went blue new mexico goes blue a lot you know don't be surprised if they eventually uh uh, turn Texas and some of these places. Gas here in Las Vegas about three eighty a gallon. That's pretty expensive. Paid my way home. I am done. Right, side duck. What's up, side duck? Yes. L O L. No. I was supposed to be getting about a foot of snow on Friday. Oh. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying, Nathan. You're going to see the cat. There's, you know, when the voting booth closes, you could be in Texas. You could be a tough guy. You can wear these kind of hats all day. But at the end of the day, your vote counts no more or no less than the person that just moved in from California. Yeah, it will be California and Texas. Exactly. Exactly. You've had a lot of people from Louisiana move into uh, Texas. And, um, you know, it's it's beware you know i i wouldn't be cheering i wouldn't be gloating about that that's for sure i've already seen a lot of the changes uh that have been have been wrought by that so just be aware 
the more that people leave this state, the better this state has the ability to become. And that's why I love it here. So let me welcome anybody that's new to the um, channel today. Glad to have you along. I don't know. I think we might go out to Sebastopol tonight. We are not cheering. Trust me. There we go. So, uh, you know, there's still a lot of people moving here. What they don't count is the people that are coming from overseas, particularly Asia, to continue to migrate. We're about to have a new wave of uh, people from uh, Hong Kong and places like that begin to make their way to the West Coast uh, here. And they naturally gravitate to California and Nevada. Uh, the people don't like it in Texas. Yeah, but Lurker, there's nothing I can do about it. You know what I mean? A lot of people in California don't like Texas. Let's see, Rain Dancer said it's the Electoral College. Local voting is more important. Would you ever live in Baltimore again? Eh. You know, Quirky, sometimes I thought about getting one of those blown-out houses in a real shit part of town, but why risk life and limb, right? I mean, it'd be great content to do a restoration. I mean, it'd really be cool, but at the end of the day, who knows? Uh, yeah, do you, I think, you, Joe, you should follow me on the uh, Twitch first. That is um, T-Girl, T-G-I-R-L, lowercase, underscore Rosie, lowercase underscore O'Kelly, and then the uh, the uh, uh, TikTok is uh, Rosie underscore O'Kelly underscore original. So, how you doing, Margie? Not being anybody. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get The mods will be in here in a bit. They'll get you a link for that. That's no problem. Yeah, thumbs up are definitely appreciated. So, uh, believe me, there's a lot of animosity, you know, there's always animosity between states and things, right? I mean, um, you go down south, I mean, if you're a Yankee, you're going to run into a little bit of resistance down there. You know, people look at New York plates and stuff, and it's, ooh, you know. And if you're coming up from the south and they look at you, uh, but only, yeah, Twitch is just an alternative. It's, it's a little more of a, I like it for a little more free expression. Uh, there's no sense risking a lot of stuff on YouTube to uh, have a little bit of adult fun, so it's more fun. I'm sorry, yeah, Rosie underscore O'Kelly underscore official there. I'd love a tiny house in the middle of the country. I'm a country gal at heart. I'd like to be in an urban area. I'll probably regret that one day. But how you doing? Uh, who's that, Jay? How you doing? I'll probably regret that one day. But uh, I have traveled to Texas. I do love Texas. I love the uh, El Paso. I like San Antonio. I haven't been to Dallas. I only rode through Houston, but it seemed like a fine, fine uh, state. Um, yeah, put that in the search on the, uh, TikTok and then also in um, on um, Twitch. Twitch is eventually going to be more my subscription platform for people that want to um, more actively subscribe and support what I do because I don't ever want to have, I don't want to have memberships here and uh, all that stuff. I'm a believer on YouTube for all content for all people all the time, so I don't want to get involved. And there's a 500 pound bear terrorizing the locals. I saw that. How many, uh, how many homes is that bear broken into? Like, 50 homes or something? Why does everyone come after California? They're just jealous and they're like, oh, why you guys pay much in gas to send them to stay where you're at? <laughs> There's a lot to love about this state. God knows the weather is glorious. When I think of not having to have air conditioning in summertime and how beautiful it is on the coast and, the, and just the glorious um, nature in the mountains and the Sierras and Tahoe and the Pacific Coast Highway, Pebble Beach, Santa Cruz, and just all the glories of that. It's really, really cool. Yeah, you got some shitholes. But there's a lot of beauty and people make a lot of money here. There's a lot of wealth generated here. A lot of that's being lost right now, but uh in and out look my dad was a good burger what's up dave good to see you nice to see dave uh, hank the tank quirky girl smart move twitch has uh, twitch has a little more freedom and you know i can bounce around bikini up and nobody's really gonna care 
uh, too much over there and also I can get a little more a uh, uh, little more support if people just voluntarily want to be there and you know get a membership sometime in the future probably by the fall or something like that but it's, it's fun what's up uh, what's up Wade haven't seen you in a while we live um, 30 miles from Yosemite I hate the humidity in Texas yeah I grew up on the East Coast so I'm pretty familiar Having grown up on Chesapeake Bay, man, I know humidity. That baby just acted like a bathtub that would just superheat. And it was just like, are you kidding me? It's like unbelievably uncomfortable. You get 95 degrees, 95% humidity. And then that afternoon thunderstorm would come in and it would just uh, raise the humidity at nighttime. And it would be perfectly still and it was hot and sweaty ass stuff no air conditioning there's jamie i'm coming down to santa rosa in the late spring we should have a barbecue and cocktail jamie why don't you get in kitchen stadium honey why don't you do it up for us we'll stick your beautiful self into kitchen stadium there we'll get your best dish one skillet one pot actually we got two two skillets in one pot that's it so would you tonight I might make up some chili I don't I got, got kind of a taste for chili if it doesn't get too damn cold Wade said the temperature down here in South Texas is just plummeted I've never had an In-N-Out burger I did get uh, to a barbecue place where I had what they call a monster burger yeah it's good I live an hour from Mount Rainier the sleeping volcano what a beautiful view though rain dancer when you're going up the um, when you're going up to 101 and I guess the I-5, the I-5 and stuff. What a beautiful view of Mount Rainier. <clears throat> Makes for a horrible, <laughs> horrible hair days. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got some more bad weather coming up, I think. But by Saturday, we should be in the clear. I don't think that we're going to have much more of this brutal cold that uh, that we had. Uh, that we are having I think the worst of it's going to be into tomorrow morning and into Friday morning so as I told you guys in the beginning I covered the main my main bearing tree yeah I'm, I'm totally on the cook and kitchen stadium that would be awesome Jamie uh, you figure out what your best dish is and you bring it in you keep it simple and that's what makes it fun you know we could have 10 pieces of gear and uh, multiple gas burners running and electric cords plugged in all over and all kinds of stuff but honey all we use is one skillet one wok one pot and a few utensils and that's it honey you go to town with that you got to make it whether you're making pizza whatever the hell you're making that's it that's all you got and that's going to improve your cooking skills dramatically Mount St. Helen was scary enough I was in Murphy's in a little bit last week some guy telling everyone how bad it finally asked why are you here then he, sh he shut up and left yeah i love this state what's up zombie how are you doing i'm so excited got my twin visiting oh isn't that nice and your niece last mardi gras weekend and possibly the last time for me to um have alcohol until the uh, holy Saturday night, right? That's it. There's a restaurant not too far from where I live called Lone Star Barbecue. Really good. Their monster burger consists of an all beef patty top with strips of brisket. Now that sounds good. That sounds like the place in uh, Boulder City uh, near Las Vegas that has, it's called Fox Barbecue. It has the brisket burger, and that's amazing. We have a high of 78 here, almost record-breaking heat. Yeah, we're freezing our tuchuses off here, Amanda, for sure. Every state has its plus and minuses. People have asked me, somebody asked me the other night on the live stream, what state don't you like? And I cannot name one single state that I dislike. I cannot. How you doing, Tony? I think that there's a lot of uh, good things. Some people call Kansas and Nebraska, you know, flyover states and, uh, you know, Missouri and all that. But I found a lot to like in 
Kansas, wonderful people, Russell, Kansas, Goodland, Kansas, up in the high, the high plains, uh, up there, in uh, Salina, there's a lot of good things up there, Murphy's isn't like the rest of Cali in that area now, for great area, and it's red, okay, what's up, Cobra John, how you doing? I will totally catch you in home in town. Yeah, give me a little forewarning so we can go out and shop and pick up some stuff. I used to, to able to, to I used to be able to tolerate cold weather. There was the one time back in the, when I was, went swimming in an outdoor pool that wasn't heated. Lord, our friend Joe is in the blizzard. Who are we talking about? Joe Biden. Well, no, maybe that guy's in a mental blizzard. I don't know. I was in Mount St. Helens less than 12 hours before she blew on the side of the bulge, bare meadow. Yeah, that's got to be scary. Yeah, I remember watching it on uh, TV from the safe confines of Baltimore, Maryland, and watching that son of a bitch blow. That was a hell of a night. Spaceport 42 Joe. Yeah, how you doing, Magda? Good to see you tonight. Yeah, you know I'm always a little bit naughty. Uh, I gotta be the me, though. Slab City Joe. Cindy Russo, how you doing, babe? Good to see you. Uh, so I'm having fun. You know, got a few more irons in the fire now. It juices it up a little bit. The last of the big, I have a a video tomorrow talking about the next big thing on the rancho i hope you guys will check that out hello sherry we've got um diane coming on monday knock on glass our weather should be pretty good by that time we should have broken the back of this cold spell we should be up in the mid 60s to uh, 70 maybe a chance of a shower here and there hey rio bird i'd like to take her up to um uh, places like the Russian River and uh, maybe show her Healdsburg and some of these towns around here and all that. He's on his way back to New York. We were the Red Zone National Ge Geographic taking pictures. I watched the eruption of Mount St. Helen. A friend of ours lives in Oregon, came to visit with a jar of Mount St. Helen ash. Truckers are going to be pumping into D.C. on 1 March. Yeah, Lurker, it's all part of the whole deal. Honestly, um, what did it say? Honestly, the one negative thing is, is the drivers don't use the bling. Yeah, there's drivers here suck. But go to Massachusetts sometime. The drivers are terrible. I haven't seen Teresa. Sometimes Teresa gets in her feelers a bit. She'll be gone in her health. She'll be gone for three or four months at a time. Okay, so don't let's let's not freak out. Do I have contact information for her? No, I don't. But I know that she's disappeared for periods of time uh, before. So am I particularly worried about it? No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I like, I like Northern California too. Um, you know, I enjoy Southern California for the life, but they have totally gutted LA, they've taken most of the fun out of, uh, you know, you, you dare not even be on Hollywood Boulevard at night, you don't, it's just, yeah, it's cool to go down to Main Street in the Cecil, that's fun, but it's, you always worry that you're going to get your ass kicked. Yeah, I can understand that, my health has taken a dose dive. Wade Smith, I think that you were in communication with her, weren't you? Uh, with the truck drivers i've been there and have been there through it's not it's not an easy job and i always said hey sure not i always said brenda that as far as the truck drivers um as far as the tr thank you terry as far as the truck drivers are concerned they're the unsung heroes of the pandemic terry said and anything great rosie murphy another great rosie murphy today we live in interesting times hollywood isn't like it used to be now let's just cover this off real quick because I'd like to have fun. What's up, street life? I did, um, you know, the, I'll just put it out there. The markets are in meltdown mode. It's not been unexpected. I had to turn off my notifications today because people were binging, banging, boinging me today. Like, what should I do about this? Should it, you know, is it too late to get out or should I, should I, but look, I don't give advice. You know, the times for doing moves, 
you know, if I told you we were going to go down another 70% or something, would you do something? Well, I don't know. Right. The uh, upload on the Rosie Murphy's call, the channel's called How to Boil a Frog. Okay. Hey, Joni, how you doing? Uh, I'm Teresa's knight in Bermuda Shorts. She's my prom queen. We each disappeared temporarily for health reasons. I get it. So I'm not going to talk about that really tonight. I would point you over to the Rosie Murphy channel where I did that upload uh, today. The uploads will be coming more frequently because it's easier than me messaging people back and forth that are messaging me. And my stuff is just opinion, okay? But I would say I pretty much nailed things dead to rights right here. So I'm headed to the slabs in October. That's cool, Tony. I hope to be down there in March. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to a return trip to the um, slab. So, uh, as I said, the we're beyond now the outer bands of the hurricane, the Category 5 hurricane with 210 mile an hour clock winds. We're now start, starting to get the full force of uh, the damage that's being wrought on that. And uh, will it intensify? Yes, it will dramatically. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it'll be one of these things in life that's uh, once in a multi-generational thing here. Mine's in a, in a fake book. I don't know what that means, but uh, you'll run into me. Yeah, I'd like to see you. <clears throat> I like to meet people. You know, I like to hit up cause he can do some cooking, do some meat in his mouth, and uh, look around a little more and show you some stuff around the slabs to get on video that you normally wouldn't get to see. But I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. I'm not going to say I told you so, but this stuff has been coming down the pike. Yeah, cause is good people. Yes, I enjoy. Um, the question is, money even going to be any good if you do if you put it under mattress? The purchasing power, you know. Here's the deal, Wade. Here's the deal, Lurker. And this is the controversial. My own opinion, having been a student, master's degree in business, and a, and a study of financial history and stuff like that when you pump what's up i'm sorry you got a migraine yilva terrible keep my booze in a mason jar okay here's the deal you cannot pump the kind of money that's been pumped into this economy with the uh, federal reserve creating treasury printing currency and the federal reserve buying that and treating as if it's real uh if it's something of real value and the money supply of this nation going up about 70 percent in two years with that having a lot of really negative effects how you doing barbara and the negative effects are this it's almost like when population is out of control then disease runs rampant you have Malthusian forces come in, disease, pestilence, uh, mayhem, and it reduces the surplus population. Well, the same thing holds sway. When you create all this funny money and all this low interest rate environment, you get people to do some crazy shit. And you get all the money like rounded up, all of this money all rounded up and it's pushed into one corner right say the market or something like that and all of a sudden people can't believe it when somebody just when something just pushes the plunger and all of that money in a matter of a couple months just is evaporated into thin air and you know what there goes the money supply there goes the feeling of wealth and all of a sudden people pull in their spending and we have a uh, severe uh, downturn where all of a sudden the purchasing of pound, the purchasing power of money starts to rise dramatically because the amounts of it are shrinking dramatically. What's up, Dixie? Yeah, Yilva, I hope you feel better. What's up, Jerry? Uh, when the surplus population goes away, well, so does the economy. Yeah, too many government hurrying down, so nobody wants to work. Well, it's got to change. And uh, society has to be destroyed down to a level where you have a rock-solid foundation, and that means a lot of pain, 
Uh, that means a lot of dislocations. It means a real comeuppance for a lot of people that have uh, lived a life of uh, dependence and gaming the system and stuff like that. When that gets pulled out overnight, you have the China experience of, you know, from 1000 AD till 1980, where people just live in abject misery and uh, saving every other penny and living like living like animals, right? And uh, you know, digging canals. Everybody gets issued one tablespoon and get to work, right? I mean, it's it's a really you got to rebase. You got to get rid of the dead wood. And was it six thousand? Then was it three? I think we got a little time. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. Street life. The Nikkei Dow Jones peaked in 1989 at just short of forty thousand. We haven't come near that level in uh, all of these all of these years. Okay. Why? Because the sun is set on the Japanese economy. That's why. Lolly, I have I have no idea. Why is it so much worse now compared to past historical periods? Because of the attenuation of government uh, intervention, Mag, is what makes it uh, particularly horrible this time. Is that we have used all of the resources and then some of government through borrowing. And we have created a society of dependence. This is in 180 degree stark contrast to 1929. When we had the last big economic catastrophe and government was nowhere to be found. Nobody ever thought in 1929, 1930, 1931 under Hoover, nobody thought to look to government. You look to community organizations, you look to Red Cross, you look to churches for support, you look to your neighbors. Nobody got a government check there was no medicare there was no medical there was no unemployment there were no food stamps there were no agricultural subsidies there was no um there was no nothing there was no minimum wage there was nothing now think of where we are today compared to 1929 we've come all the way to the other end where the government's responsible for every thing so, one would argue, much as the planets go around the sun, that we have reached the furthest apogee of that point of government intervention. Yeah, there'll be more. But uh, ultimately, purchasing power, borrowing costs will reach a point, risk will go so high that the, uh, that the system will implode. Okay, and that'll be, that's still a ways in the future, devolved to socialism and then communism and then dictatorships and then rebuilds on a period of, um, of a new birth of capitalism. But that's, you know, we're looking at 100 years that I won't be around. Okay, yeah, thank you, Jay. It's just, there was nothing around. There was no government. Nobody looked to government. The, balance, the government was perfectly balanced, the books. Okay, but now, great society, Social Security, Medicare, Medi-Cal, unemployment insurance, government in every aspect of people's uh, lives, taxes don't nearly cover what the government uh, spends, and the piper will be paid. The piper, the piper will be paid as long as you're all right. It's important, yeah. Uh, the rest is sharpen, yeah, sharpen your claws there. Let me run it on. You know, BP. That's a very good. That's a very cogent point. I mean, I doubt anybody will be around in hundred years. I think some people. I think there'll be people around, but we already see the early. We already see the leading edge of uh, collapse of birth rates and. Um, you know, it's harder and harder to maintain a standard of living, and it's very, very difficult. But remember, the rosy economy sucked in the labor, but we all had disco. But it didn't suck to the point that it does now, Magda, because government did not do that much at that time, and there was still that fierce drive to talk about a balanced budget. When's the last time in this country that you ever heard a politician talk about trying to have a balanced budget. We're so far blown out on our trillion to, you know, uh, spending gap measured in trillions, right?
right? I mean, who in the hell talks about having a balanced budget anymore? It's almost like, a, really? What is that? Right? Well, you can only pile so much debt on so much debt on so much debt, and then the whole son of a bitch just collapses. Okay? The whole thing just goes right down the crapper. Yeah, so in the 70s was a different period. We didn't mind putting the rates up. We didn't mind. Uh, people grumbled, but the tax rates went up and down. Okay? And they, they fought like hell to try to have a balanced budget. President Clinton was the last one that enjoyed a small surplus during the dot-com uh, boom of the uh, mid-90s. Okay, and we've come nowhere near that since then. So, you know, you can you can make the case. And uh, all this borrowing and all these programs, yeah, we've kept people out of poverty and things. And that's probably a good thing, but it comes at a tremendous, tremendous cost. And they hated poor old uh, Jimmy. Well, Jimmy Carter was not a great communicator. I was around during that period, and I was... One of the people who was very pissed off about the um, American held hostage. That's how Nightline was born with Frank Reynolds and then Ted Koppel. America held hostage, day number 440. It was embarrassing. Okay? It was damn embarrassing. And then the energy costs, and it just seemed, it seemed hapless. We went to try to rescue people, and our helicopters crapped out in the desert. It was just... You know, and Reagan came along like it would made you feel proud, at least proud to be an American again, right? He was a great communicator. Yeah, Ted Koppel had a bad toupee, but Ted Koppel made his mark during the Iran Contra affair. I mean, the uh, not Iran Contra, but during the Iran hostage situation. Da 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 da. America held hostage. Carter was a decent, uh, he is a decent, nice man, but that doesn't mean that you're a great president, right? Uh, Warren G. Harding was a great guy. He played a good game of cards. He liked to drink with the boys. He liked really nice cigars, but he, he laid every other woman that he could find, and finally his wife made sure that he was poisoned with shellfish on an Alaskan cruise, and that was the end of uh, Warren, right? That's right. Decent men don't get stuff done. That's not a leadership trait of uh, of uh, decent men. Carter did a lot of nice... Yes, he did. He did a lot of Habitat for Humanity. I got no issue with that at all. He had to drag the ball and chain of uh, his brother Billy Carter and all that. Frank Zappa. Yeah, I might be moving to Montana one day. Yeah, sociopaths rise to the top because sociopaths have the short answer. They have the simple answer. <clears throat> Seize power. I got the ideas for make th making things better. Just give me control and things will go good. So what's up, Vicky? I remember that. They counted the days. Yeah, every morning, every night you turn on Nightline after your evening news and dun, dun, da, da. This is Nightline with Ted Koppel. Good evening. America held hostage day 392. Yeah, Nixon was wonderful. He opened up China. He pulled China away from the Russians. Uh, he was he was a, he was a slick operator. Was he smooth? The hostage lasted longer than a year. 400 some days. Yes. Right. And I remember it like it was yesterday. So people couldn't wait to get Carter out of office. Right, and then they had Mondale coming and running. He had a or Dukakis. He had a one-state sweep, whatever. Right. You were only in the sixth grade. Well, I was, you know, well into uh, college at that time. You know, so yeah, it lasted a long ass time. Reagan paid him. Oh, this release Carter wouldn't do. That. I don't know, Sonny girl. I don't know, but I do know that they were released, and that was the bottom line. Nixon was an amazing man. He suffered from negative charisma. So, yeah, he's not a charismatic person. I was five-year-old when Nixon resigned. Wow, Wade? Really? I'm older than you are? 
I remember it was August 8th, 1974. I will, effective midnight tonight, resign the presidency of the United States. On behalf of Pat and myself, it has been my pleasure to serve as your president and her, your first lady, for these many years. I now leave you in the capable hands of Vice President Gerald Ford, and it is my hope that the hen in America. Good night, and God bless. <laughs> now, I think they were a little bit worried, Magda, that um, Reagan was just going to come in full bore. You were at boot camp when Nixon resigned. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. I think the Iranians were worried that Reagan was just going to launch it all out, and if the hostages died and some of them died, well, that's the way it is, brother. But we're going to we're going to restore the uh, pride and uh, dignity, and some heads are going to roll over there. At least that that was my take on it. Right. So interesting. People will be different. Eisenhower was present when I was little. Yes, I was an Eisenhower baby, right? Then Kennedy. I remember mm -hmm. watching Kennedy's funeral on a little black and white TV that our that our dog used to piss on the corner of, and it rusted it all out. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> much, but I remember that it was old rusty metal box TV POS. No, I never had a Billy Beer. I was never once to venture out into tasting different things. Eisenhower was unattractive, but Eisenhower had great leadership qualities. When you think of all the planning it took to put D-Day together with all those, the largest uh, amphibious assault in history and keep that all under wraps <clears throat> and make that a go and deal with all the politics of being the uh, chief... Uh, the main guy, it was it was quite a job that Eisenhower did. Reagan authorized the bomb in Tripoli and the thing and then the thing. Ronnie Reagan. Yeah. Ronnie Reagan. Well, he did a lot of great speeches in the sixties about communism and the threat of communism and a lot of the stuff that he said has come true today with dependence on government and um, multi-generational dependence on uh, government which which brings in a, a whole raft of surplus population and all that that wouldn't be there if people had to provide for family by the sweat of their brow the surplus population wouldn't be there how you doing cinnamon hot 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 <clears throat> Yeah, Ulysses Grant, just he wasn't a politician. He just surrounded himself with uh, knuckleheads that took advantage of his friendship. People like Sheridan and, uh, uh, you know, William Tecumseh Sherman and all these people that took advantage and sought favors from him and all. He, you know, the poor guy died of, uh, wrote very good memoirs while he was suffering with throat cancer and stuff. And, uh, you know, always a good family guy, and uh, just, was he a great general? I don't know. All he did was just keep throwing more bodies, more bodies, more bodies. They called, they said he was just running a slaughterhouse. What's up, Buttercup Baby? Why do you think they had the draft riots in New York in 1864 and all that stuff? Because people get tired of being thrown into the grinder. Someone hypothesized that the character was based on when he enforced the uh, Pusan perimeter in Korea. Uh, viewy, viewy, quiet. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. What's up? What's up? No, Eisenhower was a good speaker. He warned about the military-industrial complex, and now, you know, $20, tw $20 trillion later, here we are, right? With <laughs> Twenty trillion dollars. No, he was a good. <clears throat> he was a good speaker. I lived in Florida when the Bay of Pigs broke loose. Guess what? I made it back inside. That's really cool, Mew. Good for you. Made it back inside the Cecil. All right. My point is, if and a lot of people theorize, and certainly um, 
have held the view over time that absent government support and uh, intervention, we would not have the uh, population and the dependent population that we had have today. Language. We got to see a lot of history. He has very clear memory. That's right, Judy. Uh, uh, <laughs> interesting times. It's going to get a lot more interesting. History's been pretty boring lately. I think it's going to take a very spicy cayenne pepper kind of turn coming up here over the next few years because it's all based on a high degree of destabilization right now trying to jump from one foot to the other and maintain balance is very difficult on TV German reporter passes out on TV while demanding force jabs uh, well I don't know whatever um, they had some woman that just died it was uh, you know bothering people about them getting vaccinated she died of COVID so uh, big name so I think that wave is pretty much done. So uh, we'll see. Uh, the next thing that will happen now is this, is the market will be self-reinforcing with weakening trends of earnings and all that. Like eBay reported after the close that they're weakening and Facebook's weakening. And, uh, you know, once that trend gets in place, it's very difficult to break that uh, trend. And the psychology starts to turn in the other direction. Um, so, and the reason why we have crashes is because reality becomes the furthest separated from uh, expectations. At just a few points in history, the expectations are so damn high relative to the ability of, to uh, achieve them. The whole pandemic issue is now dead. Yeah, the pandemic will be moved in a couple weeks. The pandemic will be off the table. Forrest Brown, the hero. Yeah, he was definitely a hero. Definitely a hero. I can't stop talking. You know, I love you. I can't. Hey, what's up, Wendy? How you doing, my girlfriend there? Yeah, it's supposed to be a big trucker uh, protest, and that could spark off a whole new set of uh, destabilization. Uh, the real problem is that we've had every purchasing officer in the nation has triple ordered everything in all the warehouses. I said this before. All the warehouses are full to bursting with shit. Okay, and then all of a sudden when demand instantly dries up in a day then they're stuck with all that shit <clears throat> right <clears throat> and then you have a very severe slowdown it's Costco getting gas saw the price change up 15 cents right after I gassed up on that pandemic that we'll be committing <laughs> yeah exactly kid and cat nobody wants to hear that crap bowl anymore nobody wants to hear it anymore Nobody wants to hear it. That's not a pith helmet quirky. That's a standard GI issue camouflage helmet right there. We live and let die. Do. Live and let die. Do. Do. So I just, these are, of course, my opinions, but, um, um, you know, things, things seem to be unfolding pretty much the way I expected them to, so. Uh, you know, will we will we tip over to the point where the pain becomes so much that people will just want to get the hell out with that benefit of anesthesia? They'll just want to be amputated, and that's uh, where we'll find a, a temporary bottom. Cat is always suited up and ready for battle. Cat's a hell of kitten. Cat's a hell of a warrior. All right, never shirks from the battlefield. Right, the the flag is never bowed. Never bowed, okay. Never, never. Pith has a point on the top of it, like the German uh, helmets of World War One, right? Worst came to worst, you could always put your head down and put that into your enemy. If you got down in hand-to-hand -hand combat or something, you could always run that point right through somebody, <clears throat> like a bayonet. It's called a pith helmet. Right. It's a very special style. That's just a standard GI issue 
warned us to beware of fire entanglements. That's right, Joe. You said that before, too. I know, yeah, I remember that. I just carry an umbrella. <laughs> Magda, you got this. You got your gob, right? <laughs> I'd love to. Uh, I'd like to talk about that. Love to sit down with Magda and talk about the teens and early twenties with her. That would be pretty wild. With the rise of radicalism in the Palmer Act and all that kind of stuff, the deport deportation of the radicals. That would be pretty damn cool. How you doing, Liz? What's up? What's going on? Good to see you, Angus. So the old Chinese curse may you be may you live in interesting times will certainly be holding sway over the next uh, few years ago. I got the chocolate peanut butter one. Well, that's good. You got something tasty. Oh, you got something tasty. So we shall see. Good evening, mm -hmm. Kathleen. I find that's a very under studied period of time uh, that period of uh, 19, well the election of Woodrow, the nomination of Woodrow Wilson in uh, <clears throat> Baltimore at the 5th Regiment Armory for President all the way through uh, the rise of Calvin Coolidge's uh, President. How's the weather today? Cold. I woke up this morning heavy frost, 29 degrees I put a little post on the community page I think tomorrow is going to be like 25 degrees. So I took the opportunity to get the blue tarp and cover up the main producing orange tree tonight. Hopefully that will help a little bit. Keep a little bit of warmth in. But I've had trees down to 18 degrees and still survive. <clears throat> it was a rough period banning the booze. It was also a rough period because you had a pandemic that could not be reported on. You were also fighting a world war. You were also fighting radicalism in Wilson's 14 points in a new world order. Uh, and the rise of industrial capitalism was just coming into full, full flower at that point. Hooray for Henry Ford. Da do 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 so I think tonight I got kind of a hankering to walk around Sebastopol a little bit and see what's going on out there. But you know, oh good, I got my gloves. Shit, I thought I forgot my gloves tonight. Man, I was really nervous about that. Does it ever snow in Santa Rosa? No, I don't. Uh, I think you can see it in the mountains around here once in a while. What are we doing, Jamie? We were talking a little bit of economics tonight. Only because I've had people messaging me all day about what should I do this, should I buy this, should I sell that, and I don't, I don't give advice in that regard. Uh, she may shine so bright. She does have a great smile. Boy, what is this guy doing? Let's flip that around. Yeah, deep freeze. I'm not, I'm not really. I got up this morning in the house, it was like, I don't know, like 47 degrees or something, right? That was, that was friggin' cold. That was cold. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I think it might be fun to um, knock around Sebastopol a little bit tonight. And then maybe try to cook up some chili. How do you like this Canada business? In my opinion, proves they have nothing compared to our. Yeah, I mean it's all it's a shocker to a lot of people, Canadians, um, because this guy's spun. That's why this guy is uh, spun around the axle. So um, you're pretty imper you're pretty impervious to cold weather until you freeze. So. Um, you know, it is what it is. Let me just see what the temperature is right now. It's 55 degrees, so uh, that's it, right? Chilly, 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 and it's going to go down. I know we're going to go home and cook, and it's going to be in the 30s tonight. So, yeah, thank you, Jamie. The rancho is looking fantastic. I've got the uh, video tomorrow, the next big thing for the rancho, so I hope that you check that out tomorrow. Try an impossible uh, burger. It's very good. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use a regular burger to make some chili tonight. 
Yeah, he's wearing shirt. He's this is just so common around here because the guy is just you know these people just get spun around. They get spun around the axle. It's just the way it goes. You know, drug use and all that. I mean, you're just when you see things that are so far out the norm like that, people wearing sweatshirts and uh, you know this guy's got no jacket and it's just it is what it is. Yep, you're welcome, Liz. It is what it is. 18 degrees right now where I am. Oh, Rosie. Uh, yeah, I want everybody to feel better. Four, four degrees in Denver. Damn. Yeah, James, he's a little spun. I mean, you can tell when you're hopping around and you're talking to the air. I mean, I, I pray for these people. Because it's it's almost impossible to survive. Right, look at this guy's got multiple layers of jackets and stuff like that. So I don't know. It was eighty two degrees here last week, Quirky. But thank goodness when Diane comes it's not gonna be that cold. I watched your last two chins about that sure has changed. I just cooked up homemade potato soup. Nice. Yeah, I enjoy going out there and walking around a little bit. I think it's a lot of fun. The scene changes pretty quickly. I'm in Falco, definitely deep freeze on the west coast. Yeah, we're, we're <clears throat> you figured we were gonna get one of these. This uh, you figured we were gonna get one of these uh, really, really cold waves. But uh, yeah, it's just you know, you don't know who this guy's talking to. He's just you know, he's just spun. It's what we call here in the hood, just spun around the axle. Here comes another one too. Just spun. Yeah, I think I think Magda Omicron was such a uh, rapid and fast spreading wave that I really think that, uh, barring anything weird, we'll have to wait and see in a in a couple weeks if a new variant evolves here. So, but I think this thing over oh, this thing was like a tidal wave. It just overwashed the whole world really quickly. So. Monday it was 72 degrees. Did you wrap your pipe? No. It's not going to be that uh, sustained cold that my pipes will freeze uh, outside. And there's enough room for expansion, and especially in the in the uh, plastic tubing and stuff. There's enough uh, room for expansion. The new sub variant has reared its ugly. Has it quirky? Because I didn't read anything about it. I didn't see anything about it. These people they don't feel they don't feel hot and they don't feel cold. Now you can't really have a guy like this in a shelter because he'll be he'll be tweaking all night when everybody's sleeping and you know it becomes very very disruptive. So all you can do is just pray. Uh, because unfortunately our psychiatric system can't do anything to reverse this kind of damage from uh, crack and meth and, and all. It's very difficult. Very difficult. I've seen in a neighborhood, I never had screamers when I moved here. It would be 11 years in uh, June. And uh, this this is all new. This is the drug cultures really biting deep. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably Kit and Cat, it would probably accrue to his benefit, but uh, he is a human being after all, so um, got to think about that, and uh, that, that thought I keep in my head, but it'll, you know, it's just who you talk to, your, your mind just doesn't think anymore, and there's literally probably a couple hundred guys and gals like this in the neighborhood you'll be in bed at night or in the recliner and you just hear him screaming down the street at all hours no he's uh he's just talking and he's just talking into the window there that's all but you got to be careful this dude doesn't come and just put his foot through your grill or something this these people are very unpredictable it is sad it is sad. It's it's always uh, it's always saddens me. 
always saddens me. What's up, Smelly Cat? How are you, doll? He's about 35 years old. Right? And uh, I don't know how these guys operate this 7 Eleven and keep it on an even keel with all the pressure of these people. They do give out a lot of food here. There is a lot of mental illness. Yeah, I see people mass warm my arms. That's how you doing, Charles? And that comes from a permissive, that that comes from a, uh, that's another aspect of our Bill of Rights and our Declaration of Independence is the pursuit of happiness. So, right, in places like China, <clears throat> they catch you doing drugs, dealing drugs, consuming drugs, marijuana will get you 10 years in a uh, work farm, and if they find you dealing something heavier than that, they will have a three-panel court of the People's Liberation Army sit up there, three judges, and at the end of the trial, when you were found guilty, they will open the back door, they will take you out to the execution yard, put a bullet in your head, and then go to the family home and then seek the cost of the bullet in the trial from the family. And then if you, if you want the body, you claim it. If you don't want it, you still have to dispose of the body and take it off the hands of the government. You want to talk about a strong deterrent? You want to talk about an incredible deterrent? That's an incredible deterrent. Death. <clears throat> so you don't have a society that's racked with uh, drug use and all that. So Very, 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 very harsh penalties. Now remember, that's a society that went through the opium wars and all that. So with a heavy degree of uh, addiction, it uh, left a very severe mem collective memory on the Chinese. Yep, nice haircut. What's up? Winter storm, how you doing? You might start, may start drinking gas. I don't know. I mean, there's just, what are you going to do? How do you spend your days? How do you spend your time? Right? Right? At least he cleans up his shit, so... No, I like that. He's pretty clean. At least at this point, we got people that usually throw stuff at windows and windshields of people's cars and all that kind of crap. He might be. I don't know what the hell he's got. Sometimes it's best just not to even know. Right, he's he's actually just tearing up paper now. He's pulling out of there. So, uh, so you know, some you know, we're unusual in this country with our tolerance and in the Western world of uh, drug use. Where in uh, Asian countries, it's just it's uh, it's virtually certain death. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, you think Blackbird would ever leave a bike outside of a place? Hell no. He's got a $600 Trek bike. Right, or giant bike, whatever he's got. That's a good thing. <sighs> a lot of people still masking up going inside. I mean, that'll be a long, that'll be a long tail phenomenon here. That'll last a long time. You'll see that worldwide for a couple of years. Uh, I hope he's not peeing in the trash can. Play the blood of Jesus for the homeless. Thank you, yes. Amen. Amen, Shimei. Amen. Sometimes when all sometimes when all you have is prayer, that's it. All you have is prayer. Amen. Should all give a sincere prayer for that. Because I don't know where this guy's going to be tonight, but it's going to be 25 degrees tonight. This is the kind of thing, if you're not in a shelter, you'll die tonight here.
just uh, you just windy and 22 it's terrible here smelly so many are lost on these drugs well that's what i'm saying mouse toes drugs drugs have just under have just contributed to the, have just contributed to the rottenness that uh is the foundations of this uh they're like termites that have bored under the foundation of this nation this younger generation particularly yeah i remember that the old man with the bad cough cough do you remember that quirky that you remember you have good memory that was down at the beer baron down there close yeah i don't even think he feels the temperature to tell you the truth so you just become impervious to uh temperature yeah that was at the beer baron when that uh yeah near my office that was um yeah we had a couple of people right I remember early on a beer baron downtown near the square there was a guy laying underneath when everything was closed down for the pandemic coughing like crazy I have no idea well what would I do winter storm except say a prayer for God's merciful intervention that's all I could do right right because uh what is it, 53 degrees we're losing uh two degrees like every 15 minutes right now so uh and then somebody just gets a thought in their head just take off and roll out and let me tell you when that sun goes down it gets damn cold right That's why I cringe sometimes. I go into these dispensaries and it's all, you know, 95. I'm the oldest person around. 95% of the people are like 30 years old and below in there. I really don't think Quirky that he's capable of doing a drug deal, to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't really think that that's a possibility at this... Uh, I just don't think the guy has the mental faculties to uh, to do that. Everybody likes their five dollar pizza. Yeah, I do too, Brenda. How you doing, Scottish? What's going on? Yeah, they're very unpredictable. You got to give a lot of leeway. It's actually better to be in a car or under somewhere, but we do have warming places that are open in the area that you can go to. Uh, but again, that's a good place to get your ass kicked in those places. <laughs> Nightfall in Santa Rosa, not a cloud in the sky. I feel like I, I feel jealous of the people that are um, working the taco trucks tonight being over the stove and the heat good evening jody how are ya how are ya because we're losing two degrees every 15 minutes here so i'm really glad i covered my main uh bearing tree i have to make sure that we don't have any wind so that shouldn't that shouldn't come off at all i mean i hope it's not too cold to cook outside we shall know, we shall know, soon enough. Is it warm there? No. These people just get into their cars from where at work or other places. And uh, uh, No, it's 53 degrees. I mean, I've got my uh, traffic director jacket. i got gloves, all that. It's about uh, 10 more minutes. We're going to head out. Um, I want to walk around Sebastopol a little bit tonight. I want to check out the Wednesday night uh, restaurant scene there and see what's going on. Mardi Gras is next. Um, I think it's the 28th or March 1st, isn't it? I don't know. Bimbo, how you doing, baby doll? If I lived there, I wouldn't have shoes. Stay away from drug use. We need some deterrence. Well, 
you know, I guess you could follow the Asian model and you would definitely reduce the surplus population and you would cut drug use by ridiculously high numbers. But that's called the draconian solution. I'm gonna make some coffee and settle in. Okay, good, 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 good. Settle in. If I feel warm enough, I'm gonna make some uh, chili tonight. Uh, I got one of these really nice beef burgers that the boss sent me, the um, Omaha Steak Company. Gonna get some garlic, gonna get some onion, one of these burgers, some uh, tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes, cumin, some chili powder, cayenne pepper, and we're going to go to town tonight. Yep, thumbs up or appreciating. Right, and if you did not see the upload on the Rosie Murphy channel today, please check it out. I had uh, too many people messaging me and bing and bang and boinging me today about what's going on. Just check that over there. The Impossible Burger is healthy from trade over and I'm not sure why I got heat about it. Because the boss, you know, the boss doesn't believe in something like that. You know, he doesn't believe plant-based food. But it's like hitting, now, here's the, I night like tonight. Here's the other deal, though, right? And Kitten Cat says this, why would you trade lesser caloric value um, for a plant-based burger? Like, because the Impossible Burger is no fewer calories than regular beef. So it comes down to mostly an ethical decision because these Impossible Burgers are loaded with oil. Um, and the only one I saw that wasn't was the Boca Burger or whatever, the Bubba Burger, the Boca Burger, which were amazing. The, uh, you know, but that has its own set of problems that somebody else talked about. So, yeah, it's nice to see Angus Kisses tonight here and uh, Liz, Quirky Girl, Shumay, and everybody else in here uh, tonight. Bimbo, Jody's here. So, Kathleen, everybody else. I'm enjoying it. Thanks for the recommendation. Good to see you, Scottish. Yeah, so the boss, I think the boss, yeah, people like beef. For me, it's more of an academic exercise to see how good these things can taste. How closely can they bring the flavor to beef? For Diane, it's an ethical decision not to eat uh, not to eat animals. But she does eat eggs. She does eat dairy, I think. So, uh, got food recommendations. It's nice to try it. It's interesting. I'd like to see the way they've advanced, uh, you know, food, and just to see how they do things. And what it tastes like in the Impossible Burger is a home run for me. And the uh, Boca Boca Burger. Yes, where's the beef? All right, let's uh, let's hit the guys. The traffic should have cleared a lot here. We're going to suit up, be warm. And uh, let's hit the streets. What do we got? 53 degrees. Catsmo, how are you? Don't let me down. But the boss would never eat uh, a plant-based burger. But if I fed him one, I bet he wouldn't notice the difference. And but he'd get mighty pissed off afterward about it. And I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Do do. I was gonna check out the rats, but we got too much of a we got too much shit going on over here tonight. We saw our quota rat last night. This poor guy's got a half a blanket just spun around the axle, another one right there, so. Uh, let's take a look down here, see what's going on. They fenced this all in now, so you can't get in that area. Right, pescatarian, you could just live on fish? Yeah. Don't let me down. Let's see what's going on down here tonight. 
tonight. Let's check it out tonight. Let's see what's going on. We usually got some people living in. Let's see if anyone got any action tonight. Yeah, we got quite a few people in their cars here tonight. This is where a lot of drug deals get done, too. be cold over in that uh, homeless camp by the towers here. Let's be careful here and we don't hit somebody crossing here. Hello Dave, how are you? We're getting ready to head out for a little bit of uh, chooch and 51 degrees suddenly. The temperature just dropped to 51 So once that sun goes down here, boom, there's no humidity. La da do do. Don't let me down. Do do. Do 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 do. There's a lot of people stay in their cars here. Nights like this, cops pretty much leave people alone. They're not going to rouse people. They're not going to, you know, go crazy getting people out of uh, wherever the hell they're sleeping. Clara Peller, I didn't know she was Russian, but she did look, uh, she did look rather, uh, know, Eastern European Slavic when you come to think about it. It's nice and warm in that taco truck tonight, let me tell you. Don't let me down. Ooh, that guy just pulled right out. Don't let me down. 51 degrees. Always enjoy getting up in the morning. I get a little tired at night, but I like getting up at 7 o'clock because you get a lot done in your day when you're up early. You feel like you get so much, you're so productive. Get me down. 
does a lot of stuff for me. And let me tell you, this gal's got a lot on her plate too. A lot on her plate. You guys would lose your shit if you knew what she had on her plate. bit of a traffic situation. Boy, I'm glad I've got my uh, damn traffic director jacket tonight. Woo! 49 degrees. Going down. Doesn't sound like much to you guys, but that's that's uh, that's getting her done. Yeah, Brenda's always early. Yeah, I have an extensive block list for words, so uh, YouTube is uh, moving in the direction of uh, having things family friendlier, so I've been in the spirit of that for about a year. We're going out to Sebastopol tonight. I want to see what the restaurant scene looks like. I want to see what's going on in town. I just want to get a gauge for stuff. We love you, Jody. Nice to see you, uh, Lucy. Yeah, I know Brenda's. She goes, she cashes out early. I think she tries to catch some of the replay the next day and stuff. So, yeah, it's an awesome night. I can't wait to get out here. 48 degrees. Boy, you can just, the temperature just drops like a mofo. I woke up this morning, there was a hell of a frost on the everything that barbecue grill, the rooftops, everywhere. Bob and Ian are working through the channel. But, uh, Brenda's being able to spend any time in here because it's a totally different time zone that she's in. So she's been such a great supporter of this channel, just week in and week out. I'm so supportive of the I'm so appreciative of the support I do get. I don't have memberships and all that, so it is definitely a blessing to have uh, people support the channel. It's wonderful. Shemay and so many other people. Got great moderators. I try to take care of them from time to time. You got to take care of the people that got you where you are. Okay, so we're rolling into Sebastopol. nuclear free zone where the 60s are frozen in time 46 degrees wow look at that we went from 52 to 46 degrees we talk about microclimates 489.9 for regular 45 degrees Every every quarter mile, this baby just keeps going down. I don't know why that's not focusing there, but trust me, trust me. Let's hit the streets, guys. Let's get bundled up. Let's get it on. We're gonna park as we usually do here at the um, Barlow Center. I think I'll park at the. Uh, 
around the community market tonight. Yeah, get your coffee. Let's check it out. Let's see what the let's see what the scene is like. I'm not going to go near this hotel over here where I had that confrontation with that idiot last time. So I'm not going to get involved in all that bullshit tonight. I just want a peaceful night. I don't want a lot of bullshit. Do do do. I don't need a lot of friction tonight. I had that idiot almost ran over me last night. Clueless. Totally and completely clueless. Totally and completely clueless. Let's see, it was pretty crowded out here at Community Market tonight. That's like a um, local version of. Uh, got a spot to park here. This right here is fine. Local version of like a Whole Foods market and all that. So let me get suited up. And my mods, just as a little reminder, my moderators have the last word on the chat, on the side chat. I do the content, they do the moderating. So. If you have a problem, you know, you can write me, but if you got a problem, it's best to take it up with them, too. All right, they run the side chat. I feel like I should be working on an airport tarmac, right? Bringing planes to their to the gates. Ground. Let's get this all set here. Too many cores around. Let's get the gloves on, let's get the stick, let's get the show on the road. Oh boy. Here we go. Ooh, 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 Goat head, that's right. I can't wait to get out of here and see what's going on tonight. Ooh. And get my gloves on. This is a town you really don't have to lock up your car. Good. Hello, Flan. Good to see you. All right. Getting me gloves on. Boy, oh boy. Bobby will be like, where didn't you have your scarf on? Didn't have your scarf on down there. All right. Let's get this tucked in. Oh. Thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate that. We do enjoy poking our nose where it shouldn't ought to be. And here we are. I think we'll walk up here. I got my battery pack. I'm going to put that in my pocket. I'm not going to go over to that motel tonight. I don't need to have any negative engagement. 
here. Yep. Give me a second. I know you're going to get dizzy watching this shit. Okay. Oh, come on. Open the pocket. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's the thing on the phone. People get mad at me because I I can only see two or three comments in a 16 by 9 landscape view. When you're on the home computer, you can see 20, 30 lines of chat. So people get mad. You didn't um, You didn't see my comment and man, it's hard. Really hard. Hard to do that. Do, do, do. Let's go over here and check this out. Man, I just shivered looking at ice cream tonight. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ice cream? Really? Woo! Now back there is that, this used to be uh, the Gravenstein Hotel and then they sold that for homeless housing and we had that very negative interaction before. I wonder if the, uh, let's go over to the Gravenstein Station, that's where they had the Katmandu restaurant. Let's see what's going on over here tonight. Let's see if anybody's in there. Doo -doo. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Let me do a little snooping inside. Yeah, that's like a homeless hotel. I don't need a lot of problem over there. Do do do. Gravenstein Station. Antique Marketplace. Boutique Marketplace. Doors wide open. Ain't nobody gonna be sitting outside. There's no heaters out here. Right? It's cold in here too. Ain't nobody gonna eat in here. I see this place is closed. Boy, that rag is so thin now. Wow. That rag is thin. It says that place is open. I don't see anything. Oh, the machines are going to be... See, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't put it... I'd, I'd take 20 bucks a day. Skunk. I wouldn't put a thin dime in those things. The hold, the reported hold on them are so great right now. I guess they are. There's somebody eating in there. Let's see. We need a new home. 11 year old, 11 year young loving sisters are being forced to move in. Can you imagine that having to give up your cats? Weed whacking and hauling. Oh, to get that mulberry tree taken down. Yeah, the machines are tight, eh? Sonoma County Ecstatic Dance. Yeah, I hope we're up around 100 thumbs tonight. 
Our cat is missing. Sally has been missing since July 2nd. We, she might have been chased by a group of foxes. Help raise fawns. These things look like they could just just wreak havoc on on you. Very dangerous. Orchard care, fruit tree plant, orchard, apples. We've seen her a few times. Yeah, well, the city was guilted into buying that uh, motel there. Membranes of Hope. What a weird town. I pledge allegiance to the earth. Solar installers. Bikes. Yeah, that's great, Brenda. Never give up. Okay, so we got two people dining in here, it looks like, tonight. Boy, those spices are just too much. There's somebody just hanging out in there. It's cold in there. They don't even have the... Don't even have the damn heat on. No, I don't... Cold as a witch's. It's weird. Lubricated, inspected November nineteen seventy five. Get back on the street. Yeah, it's a cool little place, but you can see there's really nothing going on. Right. It's the dispensary over here. This just makes me want to pee when I stand here. Katmandu, Nepal. The old train car. Yeah, they're old trains. Train used to run out here. La do 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 do. Let's cross back over here. Coffee Moore, art, music, activity, coffee roaster since 1992. La da do. Ow, 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 ow. Almost rounded my ankle. We're in Sebastopol. I want to make my way up the main street and see what's going on tonight. And then I think I'll get a beer and we'll find an office here to have a beer tonight. Good evening. Oh, Teresa. Yes, we were just talking about you. Time after time. We all missed you, honey. So great to see you back. Great to see you back, darling. Look out for the bike dicks. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's going to be a good plan. I want to check out the restaurant scene a little bit. And get the hell safely across this street. In the nuclear-free zone in Jerry Garcia town here. Grateful Dead City. Where's Waldo? Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. The snake says it all. This was like a hobby shop for a while. I don't know what the hell it is now. Bicycle shop. See over here, nothing going on here. Can you imagine the overhead for this place? Just keeping the lights on with the gas and electric these days. Look at this nice lounge area. Beer week, 10 days. Oh, we're way past this now. What the hell all this is? Go up this way. They wanted to pass a bill in this town. Remember last time we came up, all the RVs were parked on the side. The uh, city council is in emergency this week, trying to get the uh, trying to get all these RVs out of here. And it looks to a, like a great extent that they've got a lot of them have moved out of here now. Have a beer with me. I don't even want to think about a beer right now. I'm so damn cold. Uh, yeah, you can't sit outside. Yeah, it looks like a lot of these RVs have moved off now. Remember, there was like probably two dozen RVs that were parked up here. Yeah, the wind is terrible. The wind, if it, it, with that wind though, the temperature drops faster and farther. Wind provides a little bit of friction. Yeah, the RVs are gone. They are gone. There's nobody over here. Here. Totally Kathy passed away, wow. Holy smokes. Well, there's a few people in here. Man, but it is cold as a witch's. Hey, Noreen. Let's, let's cruise over here. Yeah, I think a lot of the RVs, I only see a couple RVs. I only see like one RV up there now. Yeah. They got them all the hell out of there. Yeah. I said all the RVs, last time we came up here, there was this street was loaded with RVs parked here. And then it got so out of control. Well, we'll take a closer look. It got so out of control that the city um, stepped in, told them to move the hell on. Oh, thank you, Teresa. You're so sweet. I got a video tomorrow morning, the next big thing. Costs a lot to run the lights and everything here. Yeah, I, think, I only see one RV, and I don't even know if it could be driven there. Right? 
Let's go up and check it out. I don't want to get my ass kicked, but I do have my flashlight with me. What is this? Is this an RV? No, that's an ambulance there. Let's walk up here. Yeah, all the RVs are gone. Do you remember, Jody, all the RVs that were up here? Somebody's got their generator running. Yeah, they got them all the hell out of here. Yeah, totally Kathy was wonderful. So you would never even know if somebody like passed away here. I think I hear a generator. Yeah, there's people living in the car there. People could be gone. I don't know. Sometimes people leave stuff abandoned here. We'll walk back the other way. Remember they had all the toilets set up here? And then over here, they had all the spotted pads. I don't know if the generator is running or not. They moved all these RVs out. There's just one left. It's pretty wild. Right? Overflow parking for the Barlow over here. We're in Sebastopol tonight. And brother, it is cold. Yeah, all the RVs are gone. Overflow parking. Dang. Boy, didn't hear a toe. You didn't hear a peep. How about that. Let's get up to Main Street. It is too cold tonight. It's going to be a damaging night. Just when I had shit good with the fruit trees, I got this. Well, we already had the bees going through there, doing a little bit of pollinating. It's a big yard there. This is like the last one right here. I don't even know if anybody's in here. I guess there are the lights on. Yeah, I hear them in there. This guy's got my jacket on here. This guy's got my jacket on. Same damn jacket. Get the hell out of this spook. This street's spooky. There goes a guy there. The street's pretty spooky. Let's get moving through. Let's try to take a peek over here. Again, it's an ambulance. That's the way we say in Balmer, an ambulance. Who called that ambulance, man? What the hell? Somebody hit their head on the cement. People enjoying the life. Getting the wine poured. They got the heat things there. There's a few people around here.
Yeah, this is, uh, well, it's, a, it's like a hippie town. It's a very wealthy town. Kathy fell and cold, but by the time they got there, she passed. Wow. Uh, no, don't, uh, no, Brenda, you're fine. Don't block, uh, do not block Brenda Stewart. Allow her to post, please. Thank you for the information, Brenda. My heartfelt sympathies and sadness. I always enjoyed Kathy. Here's the ice cream place. Oh, you got all the flavors. I don't know if I want ice cream tonight. Oh, that smells so good. Now hiring. Getting ready for our spring and summer season. Small, what do we got? Regular seven dollars. Ten bucks for a pint. Milkshake seven fifty. Wow. Lemon poppy seed, cookie monster, cherry pie, vegan guava. People were sitting outside, they got the heat lamp on. Juice and smoothie bar. Figgy Stardust. Tacos. Nobody in the taco place. Acre pizza here. Yeah, can you imagine ten dollars a pint? Twenty-one bucks for a thin crust pizza. Mozzarella and red sauce. Twenty-four if you want pepperoni. Fully loaded. Uh, Detroit style. Kids, kids frolicking. Wow, this place closed down. No, I guess I was, was anything in there? I can't remember. Over there. I just love butter pecan. Salted caramels and other favorites, but I'm not much of an ice cream person. Indigenous organic fair trade fashion. 50 cent wine, 50 plus wines. Woman of God, now she's in safekeeping. God bless. She is. Did she have some type of debilitating illness or something? That yeah, prices are going up on everything. Church, we sell organic. Environmental commitment. This just, I don't know, am I wrong? This stuff just always looks frumpy to me. Running amok. What a great word. It just always looks frumpy. You know, fair trade is like the antithesis of uh, sexy, right? So, yeah, that's a shame. Oh, there's plenty of people. We well, there's some people eating in here. That looks like a pretty good scene. Blue Ridge Kitchen. This looks like a pretty good scene tonight. Everybody's inside. Woodford Brewing Company. Let's go up on the deck here. Must be a little nosy tonight. Best way to get warm is just to be outside for after an hour or so of walking. You don't even really notice the cold anymore. Frito Bandito! Welcome to the chat! 
Holy smokes. Ay, 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 ay. Frito Bandito has made it. Nosy rosy. It wouldn't be. Uh... Wow, the fern bar is actually open again. It's been two years since I've seen the fern bar open. Wow. Last time we went in there, they had a two piece two piece band that was playing in there. Woodford Brewing. It's a little quiet tonight. Like our beers, take some home. Ooh. Sour Farmhouse, five pint is seven bucks. Bohemian, I like a dark beer. Shishoto peppers, spicy dry rub. Caesar salad, Sammy sandwich is twenty dollars for a tri tip. Screwballs comedy nights. I did it. There's too many people hanging outside, so Let's go ahead down here. Yeah, as long as we can still afford to drink, I guess we're okay. Right, so we're going to head up Main Street. It should be prime dining time right now. A few places have a pretty good flow going on. Um, let's see, which way are we going to go? We're going to go out this way. Past the fern bar here. Yeah, intelligently. I like to be nosy. I just like to be straight on nosy as hell. Test every door. An open door is an invitation. Get the video first and then make your excuses when you get caught. I can't believe the fern bar is open again. Keep moving. Tributes are coming in. Oh man. Wow. Yeah, open that door. Should we get the high view here? Why the hell not? Get the high view. Get the bird's eye view of what's going on. What's up, Vicky? The hell is this? Redwood Hill Farm and Creamery. Indigenous. Well, this wasn't really worth the climb, was it? The purloined letter. I don't like to mind my own business. I like to be in the thick of the action. Hopefully we'll have one or two people to talk to tonight. Fern bar. I don't know whether it's like a gay bar here or not. I can't remember. Generally associate fern bar with... gay for some reason. I don't know. Very bohemian. I don't know what the hell this is. That's one ugly ass tree. Yeah, you never know when you're going to get the plug pulled. Oh, this looks like good shit over here. Is this the liquor store? Yeah, 110 thumbs up. First fern bar was TGIF in Tampa. Yeah, this is the liquor store here. Sebastopol Liquor and Deli. I thought there were some freebies. Here's Goodwill over here. Let's check it out. It's always good to exercise in cold weather too. 
Oh, they got a rope across there. It's not a good night for Boondock, and I can tell you that. No donations here, please, around the corner. It is against the law to leave donations at this site before or after posted hours. Such actions encourage theft and vandalism. Really? Here's the Bohemian Stoneworks. This is where they were storing funeral caskets that night. Look at this uh, RV up here. No, I'm not going to be dining here, I don't think. I'm going to try to make some chili tonight. Might have to retreat to the house to make it tonight. Yeah, thumbs up appreciated. Bohemian Stoneworks. Man, I would hate to hump stone around all day. The workshop in the back there. No, 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 no. No way. You remember the caskets, mouse toes? At like 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm parked right here where this green RV is. And the next thing I know, I hear all this noise and there's caskets being unloaded. That place. I wonder if anybody's in the woods down here tonight. It's not cool to really go down here, but... Yeah. Yeah, I know, Magda, but it's just a question of uh, my monthly health insurance bill takes precedence over everything. That's like the main governor in my life. Boy, I hope nobody's down here. Anybody home? Got to bring the metal detector out here. There's somebody wiped their ass with that. Yeah, I did hump a lot of stone. If you started to move about uh, 50 blocks, that was enough. Blocks, let's go through here. Looks like somebody took a dump right there. There's somebody's bed. Shit right here. If you metal detect here, you gotta wear gloves. Right. This smells too bad. <laughs> wow. Look at this weird. This is this a dolphin? This is like street life has, I think. Right here. I think this is a Toyota dolphin. I got a whiz, but I think I'll hit that on the way back. I wonder if that's the Toyota Dolphin like Street Life has. Boy, this thing's got some miles on it. From Maine, can you believe it? Maine. Motorhome from Maine. Yeah, that's the Toyota Dolphin. Yep. Cast and found. What the hell is that? It's the falafel guys are packing up for the night. Man, is it cold? I'm camp. I don't think this thermometer up here is going to be in the 30s. These people are lined up at screaming memes for ice cream. Street life. Street life here with this Toyota Dolphin. Man, my hands are cold. Oh, it's brutal tonight. What is this? Oh, that's Mimi's side. Is that? Let's go over here. Let's be careful crossing.
short-staffed and doing the best we can. Screaming Mimi's. Yeah, we don't do boring here. Kids clay classes. They're back there now doing class. Spring camp. 425 bucks for four days or 120 a day. Yeah, they're nice painting. Screaming Mimi's is the class of the county for ice cream. They always win. Top prize, Wellness Symposium. I kind of like that top. If you got a good belly, that's perfect. Symposium. No, this, uh, you, a lot of these businesses will be gone. We do this walk a year from now. Second chance used books. Goat head, dude. Goat head. Colors of the West. Making twig garden furniture. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Good night, Brenda. Thank you. One of the last surviving toy stores. Well, goat head there, Jimmy. People in there, look at the crowd in there, man. They're booking and cooking. Wednesday nights at the ramen place. Booking and cooking. Join the ramen. What do we got? 47 degrees. Woo! Goat head, dude. There you go. There's your intrepid chucher with the traffic safety. I remember that guy in arcade is like, thus says the traffic director. <laughs> when I ran over when the cops were over there. Thus says the traffic director. Realize, realize realities. Cute. Let's get a thumbnail of that, Jody. It's about time I put myself on a thumbnail, right? Get me on that thumbnail. There we go. Thank you, Jody. Don't get me down. Ooh. Don't get me down. Kind of put the light away now. I wonder if this town has a warming center. I don't know. Now hiring bank. Come join. Looks like happy people. Thank you, Brenda. You're too sweet. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sweetie. Brenda Stewart, 14, tipped $20 through Super Chat. Just keep doing what you are doing. Heart, heart, heart. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you, sweetie. I'm trying to turn the volume. Make sure the volume's all the way up here. There we go. Look at the size of this place. 
Thank you, sweetie. Pit Mom. How you doing, honey? Great to see Pit Mom. Brenda, wonderful supporter of the channel, hard worker. Her alarm goes off at 4 a.m. in the morning. You gotta love that. Revision hair design, milk and honey. Notary pubic. A lot of attorneys here. Uh, professional building. I don't really see anybody in the East West Cafe over there. Milk and honey. Yeah, money box. This is like Magda's kind of place here. That's pretty cool, that. Ride them, girl. Butterflies. Wash your hands, you filthy animal. I like that. Wash your hands, you filthy animal. What is this? Tomb Realty. We got anything for sale here? Oh, none of them are in English. Ooh, that's a drag. Incredible first floor turnkey office, 2,800 a month. Woof. Who needs, who needs 2,000 square feet? 2,200 for 1,000 square feet. Look at these, uh, 600 square foot, two bedroom, one bath. It's a little hard for you guys to see, but 1,950 a month. 1,000 square feet, two bedroom, one bath. 2,495 doesn't even have a garage wow holy crap I think I need a professional office sweet pea 350 bucks a month yeah what's it look like Angus hello Jennifer how are you Spinning threads. Red boy Pataluma. Yeah, you'll need 399 square feet. That's all you need. Let's make you psychotic looking at that. Let's see. Spring Fasciones. I mean, I couldn't get one of my boobs into that thing. Woo! Totally Kathy would come in here virtually every stream. She'd be hanging out. Don't get me down. Is that macrame there? Is that what they call that? Yeah, bragging. That's it. Yeah, you need a lot of money, uh, turn of event. You absolutely do. I love that little owl. Is that the correct time? She fell and passed. I'm so saying, you get older, you gotta be damn careful about falling. Should get one of those life alerts. Street saloon. No ID, no service. Don't let me down. Hello. Moon clothing, silk moon. Cool looking shot. I 
why you have a wolf with a stick. Yeah, it's terrible. I agree. It just kind of puts a pall on stuff. Let's go see if anybody's eating vegetarian wait, tonight. Wait, 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 wait. Walk sign is on. Oh, I'm tired of winter. These guys invented the vegetarian burger before it was cool over here. Let's go see if anybody's eating in there. Oh, they're closed. No, they're... Are they closed? I guess... I don't know. What the hell happened? Are they gone? Hair masters. Oh, here it is. Slice of life. Yeah. Hey, Elmer. How are you doing? Twelve to eight p.m. Had a very cute waitress that was here. Menu: avocado toast, nine bucks. Nachos, 1375. What did I have? They have a Cali burrito, beans, brown rice, chipotle cacho, cashews. What do I have there? Avocado ranch burger, choice of impossible, black bean or veggie patty, romaine, cheddar, vegan cheese, red onion, avocado, avocado ranch, steak and bacon on a ciabatta roll, 1325. This place developed since 1974. These guys were doing it. These guys were doing it up before it was cool. It's the kitchen guys. Sort of closing up for the night. Pretty nice, neat operation here. Pretty clean operation. Probably a good deal. Man, Sotheby's doesn't put prices on these things. Chic on the banks of the Russian River. You know that's like 1.5 million. Three acre country paradise. Little River, way up in Mendocino County there. Everybody needs a slice of Ukraine. There's the chocolate shop. Look at all those, look at all those ribbons they want. Oh, you can smell the chocolate through the door. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. No, no prices. No, you don't really have to wear a mask anymore. A lot of places just don't take the sign down now. Fully vaccinated individuals are not required to wear a mask, but we recommend it for everyone. So, I don't know what the hell. Impuke, impuke, umpku, bank. I'm Puku, whatever the hell it is. I'm QA, or the hell is it? Good evening, Cheryl. This Popeye's hair design. Apple cobbler boot maker. This guy's gone. This guy's gone. New nail salon. Popeyes. Popeyes. 
Open by happenstance or by appointment. Okay. That makes sense. Boot makers. Measurements by appointment. Can you believe people still make boots? Well. Farmers policy perks. We are farmers. Do 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 do. Hey CJ, how you doing? We are farmers. Do 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 do. Trim tab workspaces. Co-sharing workspaces. Good to see you, Mr. CJ. The man himself. Here's Jerry Garcia. The man himself, the legend of Sebastopol. Cowboy boots immediately. Look at that. Jerry Garcia. Jerry used to hang around here all the time with Mickey Hart. His computer. Mac Daddy repairs. There's a guy working in there in the back. Nothing like a computer geek. Look at these old Max iBook, the earliest iBook. All that. If you can't fix it, you don't own it. Repair is war on entropy. Repair is sustainable. That's what it is. Independence all the way. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. I like to I like to give CJ attention. Steps of Doom. Skateboarder bike riding prohibited. There's a really cool old house up there. Spooky as hell looking. Nice. And that's a weird looking place. Alright, let's try to cross this without getting nailed over here. Let's hope this works. Here we go. You gotta have the flashlight with you. Protect yourself out here. Yeah, it'd be cool. It's been about a, it's been a hell of a long time. It's my work schedule. I usually been at work where you do morning and like really early, like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. my time. It would be an honor. Chris is a bit upset. Well, he told me that they were, you know, custom boots and stuff. And, right. Seems like a million years ago when that shit came down. But it just goes you to show you in life, no matter how nice you try to be to somebody, sometimes you're just gonna end up kicked in the head. But turn the other cheek, move on. I don't need to fuel. I don't need to fuel back and forth and all that stuff. I got bigger fish to fry these days. <sighs> Working out all the time as well. Good. That's great. That's awesome. Man, look at this old... Is this a Chevy? What the hell is this? Yeah, look at this Chevy. What is this? Like a 52? Oh, that's a Dodge, man. That's pretty rare. Shit, look at that. Yeah, I don't... Life's too short, Rosemary. I don't got time to... I can't stand drama. I'm like, you win. I'm the a-hole. You win. Got the old... Uh, it's got the clutch there. 
I guess this is like a three on a tree, this thing. It's pretty cool. As I say, an authorized vehicle. Santa Rosa Junior College. Look at this thing. Man, what an old bomber here. How'd you like on look under the hood on that baby? Dodge, you don't see many old Dodge trucks. Yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Really pretty damn cool. What is this, an old Ford F-150? This thing looks like it's been bastardized here. It looks like they put two parts of a truck together here. This isn't... the hell is this thing? the hell is this? Oh, a Ranger? There's no way this is the... I guess this is the Ranger. Got balls. That's what that says. Got balls. CJ, sorry. Yeah, a car show. <laughs> well... You know, I just, I don't like these Cadillacs. These were just when they were not cool. Now the Cadillac's the top of the line. This is the Eldorado. It's got the rake back seats in it. Look at that padding on that. It's a real gangster, that steering wheel. It's a real deal. All right. Cadillac went through some really ugly years. Now they're hitting on all cylinders, man. That I love the Cadillacs now. Yeah, it's a little spun. That one's a little spun, I'll say. And here are these PT Cruisers. Christ, I don't want to shine the light in it if somebody's sleeping inside. I don't know. It's a little scary sometimes when you shine a light. Plus, the cops aren't really cool when they're in this town. I thought this, uh, I thought this Ford Ranger was a little bastardized. It didn't look like an original equipment bed on this thing. I didn't think the Ranger had the step bed on the back. I swear this is not a Ford. I guess it is. It says Ford, but you could have fooled me. Remember when a pickup truck was cheap? What's up, uh, Joe? Remember when pickup trucks were good and cheap? Okay, some models do have this. I don't know a lot about Rangers. I know a lot about F-150s, F-350, and all that. It's, it just looks a little weird. It just doesn't hit me right. Better homes and garbage real estate. 450,000 draped in a canyon with sweet bubbling brook. That's going to be a problem. 775,000. Shit. Calistoga 1.5. Yeah, you need boots in a PT Cruiser. Man, I'm telling you, CJ, I wouldn't even take a PT Cruiser. I wouldn't even take it. I'd pass on that. Here. I think you're already winning in life. I don't think you need that to be winning in life. garden shop or something here. Herbal apothecary. White sage. I thought when the first, I thought the first hour the PT Cruiser came out was pretty cool and then I took a closer look at the specs. I'm like, no. Nah, no. Nah, not my thing. No. Nah, not my thing. Here's this nice bakery. Wouldn't fit in a car. Yes, the bottom's about to fall. Uh, that's correct. Right? 
Remember, the most liquid the most liquid stuff gets sold first, and then they start digging to the second layer. What the hell's this? Yeah, people be throwing the most liquid stuff away first. I don't know how you get to open a design gallery. What the hell do you do? Just call yourself a designer and throw some shit together? I guess that's a referral business. I don't know. Well, me, I'm not giving up my, damn, if I'm giving up my Nikes, the hell with that. That's pretty cool looking. That looked like something good for Space Girl. And by the way, guys, I'm on Twitch over there. I did a Space Girl stream this morning, very shorty. Check it out. All lowercase, T-Girl underscore Rosie underscore O'Kelly. No apostrophe, all one. Everything's so hoity-toity here. What the hell is this place? There's nothing wrong with your hair. Be glad you got hair. All right. Do 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 do. CJ likes to mess with us tonight. I would like to get caught up with him one day. You like hoity toity? Yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised bookstores still hang on. Chakra. I got to find my chakra. Whatever the hell that is. The witch's almanac. That's just what we need. Yeshua. Medicine woman tarot deck. <laughs> Three ex-girlfriends hit you up. That's, that's cool. That's cool. The plant shop. Plant shop. Little succulents. I'll say that's pretty good. I'd say you're winning, so don't worry about the boots. Here's the East West Cafe, but you can't even get a shawarma out here. All right, there's nobody around. Wraps, coastal fish wrap, falafel wraps. Garden wrap, pineapple, cashew, chicken, fourteen fifty for a burger. Hummus, nine bucks. Baba Ganoush, eight dollars. Dolmas, eight bucks. Tabule, eight bucks. Not something intimating quality, right? Uh, don't get me down. Don't worry, CJ. The moderators love you. What the hell is that thing? What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? People's music. Yeah, he maintained since he discovered gummies. Oh, he's so sweet now. So sweet. People's music. Yeah, a lot of retail stuff looks like junk. There's the pan flute. I can't think. I've got to think of what's his name? Zomfear. Do 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 
La da da. Yeah, I heard about the totally Kathy. I'm very floored and saddened by that. Boo do 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 do. La da da. Dude, there's the chambered Nautilus. That's pretty cool looking. Man, I bet that costs a lot. Shit. Pan flute. Italian food, baby. Portico. Where the beautiful people hang. Oh, things just escalated. Yeah, well, I've been prepared for it for a long time. There's the stage with the theater in there. Hey, Diane. Good thing this cold snap should be over when you get here. Because, man, it is going to be in the mid-20s tonight. Woo! Woo! Let's go up here and see if anybody's in the Froyo shop. Yeah, CJ's cool. Let's see if anybody's in the Froyo. Oh, I minded. I thought you were talking about we had a death in our family here of Totally Kathy. Jay and Spa. Yeah, she'll get better weather. I think it should be close to 70, so... That'll be nice. I know she wants to do some choo-choo. Yep, Froyo is open. Yeah. CJ's got his stall. He gets some gassed up a little bit. cross over here I mean that's that's called doing a show you know you got to get people a little gassed up I'm telling you kitty it's terrible here I mean I'm looking at the third 46 degrees now which is a nightmare Yeah, rest in peace. Wear long sleeve. Yeah, well, you got to bring dress more. Bring all your gear again, Diane. You know what you don't. Just make sure you have a nice coat, nice warm gloves. I think we're gonna pick up some of those warming packs. Fight like a girl. Yeah, you need to have some entertainment. I get mine chooching. Right, we all got our we all got our addiction. Now Diane, see everybody's insisting that you make a new dish of your own creation in Kitchen Stadium. Don't tell people that you don't cook and all this. You got time to get a recipe together and try it out. Something simple. What the hell happened here? Open for takeout. Sunshine Cafe, where in the hell is it? <laughs> Mimosa beer and wine, champagne, fresh squeezed orange juice. That's a nice wake up in the morning. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Do 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 bum bum do 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 there's a hot monk tavern the site of the famous Stewie incident Stewie Stewie Missy Jenny and I still laugh about that she just did a palm plant on her face palm plant. She's like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm sorry she had COVID. I follow her on Instagram. Now hiring skilled carpenters. 
help us build delivery of Farm to Coast Collective. What the hell is that all about? Yeah, Mouse Toes, remember the Stewie incident? Mouse Toes kind of laughed her ass off when that shit all went south. Remember Mouse Toes? And that's when I decided Mouse Toes is like, man, she is on my friggin' team. I said, somebody's got some sense. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a bar. What are people watching? Family Feud? Quarter nine in New York? No, that time's all screwed up. <laughs> I wept and people freaked out. There's <laughs> nothing. No, this was a different, uh, this was a guy, there's a, there's a tavern over here called the Hop Monk Tavern. It has a lot of bands come in and play. It's a big place. It has an outdoor beer garden with a, uh, like an all-weather greenhouse thing on it. And I went in there with Missy Jen, and I didn't know what was going on. They were having, like, a tribute memorial. It wasn't a, um, what the hell you call it? It wasn't a wake or anything. It was a celebration of life. And I went in there, I got a little torqued up on some alcohol, and I'm like toasting Stewie! Wait, wait, wait. People went nuts. They gave me the royal boot out of there. Right. And it turned into a big thing on uh, the Boyd the next day. It was, oh my god, for three days. Yeah, not even closed off, it opened everybody, and I, you know... I thought I'd be, I thought it would be pretty cool. We would toast the guy, right? It'd be all good. Yeah, wait, wait. Walk sign is on. The Cross Casino Center. Walk sign is on. Uh, yeah, CJ, you ought to pick up a cheap uh, ticket and come out here. Catch some freaking red eye on United or something. Bring your ghost box. We'll go out to the, uh, do a little Black Widow hunting. Boy, the Black Widows are not happy tonight. Woo! Not happy tonight. Everybody's having a good feed. What's up, Bianca? Do, 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 da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm trying to get Bianca in the kitchen stadium this weekend. Get her salmon. We can go over to uh, Grocery Atlin, pick up some salmon, fire that stuff up. She, you know, do a little brown sugar, maple glaze on that baby. Woo! Yeah, well, I want to travel east, but a lot of shit just keeps coming up. I injured my side terribly at Christmas time. Man, I couldn't even walk. Much to sit down, it was terrible. Still got some problems. Look at these people lined up for ice cream. Cold night like tonight. Great ice cream place. Screaming Mimi's. Crossed over here. Screaming Mimi's. I'm not much of an ice cream person. It's like this. Is this guy still in his dolphin? He's got this really nasty dog down here. Let's head down here. It's pretty damn dark. Some really weird people. This is the falafel place. King Falafel. Yeah, I'll do something carby, Diane. That'll be fine. Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, look at me on the... I couldn't believe I looked at... Did a little Space Girl on Twitch today. And yeah, I'm, I'm about right there where I want to be. I was rocking that bikini today. Here's this guy with this weird dog in this thing. Down here. Yeah, we're gonna, well, we're gonna go out one night, we're gonna get some Middle Eastern food, Diane. We'll probably go to the East West Cafe. Uh, yeah, thumbs up or appreciate it. Oh, man, I'm 
getting like a stiff neck. Shit. Scary down here. Yeah, I don't even call it a cheat. I'm I'm about right where I want to be. But uh I don't know about cooking outside tonight is gonna be. I guess once I get the heat is in the tools, once I get gone, should be pretty good. Fajitas are fine. What the hell is that? Custom ice cream pie, $35? What? Sure, what are you talking about? What do you want about, girl? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 do, 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 do. Uh -uh. I need a Middle Eastern gentleman caller. Yeah, I'm not paying $35. Shit, I can almost get a full tank of gas in my van for that. Well, half of, um, well, two thirds of a tank. Shit. Yeah, I know it's supposed to dip to 27. It's just, it's insane. I had to cover my main Orange Street tonight. Yeah, we got war. Yeah, I hope we stay the hell out of it. Just use sanctions. So I told people, get the hell out of the markets and pull your, pull your ass out. I missed your, yeah I did, sorry Bianca, I only get three lines of uh, posting here. I bet the futures for tomorrow are down big time. Of course it could be a day to buy tomorrow on the short term. Hey John, how you doing? Sorry, excuse me. Look for brewing. Yeah, I think Diane would enjoy walking around out here. Yeah, we stay the hell out of it. We stay the hell out of it. Yeah, who was, what values crypto? You know, everybody's running to gold again. The proven store of value, 5,000 years. Five bucks a liter. Let's get it on, man. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Yo. Yeah, I'm sure the futures, if you go to yahoo.com backslash finance, you'll see that the futures are probably down quite a bit. Can't say I didn't tell you so. All right. Oh, look at this. Wow, what the hell is this? Is this the Jaguar again? Yeah, that's the Jaguar. Nobody's going to hate the Russian people. It's Putin. It's not Russian. Nobody hates the Russian people. Go read Hedrick Smith's book, The Russians. Look at that. Do you like the way... I love the rake back of this. Yeah, gold to go up. Look at that. Just love that. Love that. Oh, I've got such a crick in my neck tonight. I'm going to have to start wearing a... Uh, damn. Wearing a scarf around my neck. Let's go. This is a beautiful car, isn't it? Wow. Take it for a spin. I don't think so, kid. That's like an $80,000 car. Well, Maddox, you know, we'll call in Anzac. Right, just like 1914. 1941. You guys will be in the thick of the shit. Yellow on your sleeves. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. My, my, my. Oh, wonderful little rascal. Shit.
Shit is hitting the fan. Yeah, I need to put this scarf around my neck. I got like a really bad ass crick in my neck right now. Ugh. They lift us up where we belong. Oh, I can't even think about a beer outside. Crap and can't keep up. Yeah. You could never lower the speed limits here. What do we got temperature wise? I can't even stand it here. 44 degrees. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. I put my thing on tonight. We might actually have to turn the heat on in the house tonight. Ooh. Diane comes, we gotta have that house comfy. Uh oh. Alright. Man, what did I tell you this morning? It was like 48 or 49 degrees. It was crazy this morning. Goat head, dude. Goat head. I don't want to put the heat on because I don't want to have my hands acclimated to the... I've got to be ready. Yeah, I need to put my uh, Chinese People's Liberation Army hat on. PLA regulation hat on. Come on, dude. Turn in, dude. Let's get it on. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. We got a mohawk. That's cool. Ooh. Yeah. The only thing I need is like heated gloves. That's about it. I have underwear on. I actually have a thermal shirt on today. And uh, my legs never get cold. And because I'm walking, my feet rarely get cold. The only bad thing that I ever have is my hands. That's the worst. So I got to see if I can, you know, cook up outside tonight. 43 degrees. I don't know. But I would like some chili tonight. I would love some chili. So I guess we're just going to have to bite the bullet and get it done. Tomorrow I'll wake up, I'll post on the community tab. I'll probably be 25 degrees tomorrow. My poor citrus trees. I'm just glad Diane's not here for this weather. Ooh. Very unusual. Yeah, thank you for, for the support, everybody, tonight. I appreciate it. Those of you who contributed, thank you. Listener and watch your supported shows. Should be able to knock out a chili pretty quick. They lift us up where we belong, where the eagles fly. Into the mountainside. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's all in getting a case of those babies. They're so nice. Do 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 do. La da do do do. La da do do do. Yes, Diane enjoys her time at the rancho. I already got breakfast. I already got the uh, plant-based sausages for breakfast and all that. Yeah, I know it's been cold down there too, Diane. But uh, I spent most all of my day outside. So, although I admit today I just kind of effed off most of the day. I went to the doctors. I took my notes over and did all that crap.
trying to get a pair of the gloves that the uh, People's Liberation Army wears. Right? Winter time. Don't get me down. trying to explain to the boss he's like in kitten cat well, why would you pay up for less protein with uh, plant-based stuff I said oftentimes it's an ethical choice to be made yeah beer is beer is wonderful I'm gonna need to change up my gloves though that's for damn sure Well, the way you tell lurkers, you go to yahoo.com backslash finance and you look at the uh, futures. That'll tell you all you need to know because money is the most important thing that moves. city of Santa Rosa unless you're cooking on it. It's against the law. The city's ultra paranoid because of 2017 when the first urban wildfire in history decimated Santa Rosa. It took out 6,000 homes in six hours. 6,000. 600. Thank you, Judy. Imagine 6,000 homes in six hours. This city is so paranoid of fire. First time in history a wildfire got into a, a heavily urbanized city.
the city still with PTSD. And you can see my videos, the uh, all covering the Great Santa Rosa Fire, the whole playlist. Hey, there's the bike riders. I guess it's Wednesday night taco ride. There they go. Look at them all. Having a good time. Good for them. That's cool. I wonder why they're on Wednesday night now. Yes, today is hump day. It's Wednesday. Yeah, we had trash pickup today, Cheryl. They were dropping cans at 6 a.m. this morning. Boom, boom. They used to have the Tuesday taco run. come down here and the road dog legs to the left and if you don't adjust your steering wheel look what happens you almost run right into the back of these vehicles right over here oh shit I hope this dickhead left me room to get in here oh. damn I'm so far out here this son of a bitch is parked right Asshole. Yeah, well, I don't blame him because this is like a death zone down here. All right, let's get on the stick and get inside. Get the show on the road for some dinner. Let's get a beer. Dipshit, can you imagine trying to pull out of here and make a left-hand turn? Imagine when I had an RV, a 26-foot Class A, trying to get the hell out of here. Oh, man. What's up, Morning Dave? How you doing? We are on the rancho. We're going to have some dinner. We're going to have a beer. Now oh, that got closed. Oh, well. Might as well save a little bit of heat in here tonight. <clears throat> Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Dude. Don't let me down. Ooh. What's up, bird? Don't let me down. Oh, let's get the tree in. Yeah, beautiful. Our last few days. Yeah, we're here, Matawix. I don't know if we have. I don't know if we have such a law or not. I don't know. Blackbird in the hall. There's a big box for you to came today. It was addressed to me. I opened it, but it's something for you. It's a big box in the hall, in the house, by the front door. It's for you. I think Sharon Sheridan sent you a big box here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the sprinklers have uh, been pretty much done, boss. I've worked my ass off here. Now it's time to eat. I'm going to use one of your delicious burgers to make some chili tonight. Let's get rid of this dickhead. There we go. Decide to cover that tree tonight. Yeah, I'll tell you, it was cold this morning. Shoot, shit. Yeah, I know. It was, I posted on my community post 29 degrees. Yeah, 
I have trees that get the watering bars. I'm not worried about the lawn right now. Have the have the cats been here tonight? No, I haven't fed them yet. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's cool. Okay. Mama cat loves children. Like calm down. I'll bet. <laughs> Uh, Mama cat. Say one thing: the computer loves the cold weather. That's for sure. All right. Let's see if we're gonna fire up here, and let me get myself together to get some nice chili going tonight. Clean this thing out. You right there, ladies and gents. for a beer. Yeah, time for a beer. Yeah, I just checked the uh, Dow Jones futures are down 700 points. Beer time. Beer time. Beer time. Yes, I'm gonna. Uh, when guests come, I always break out the new stove. For just everyday use, I just use the other one. Right? I don't know why I'm suddenly so warm. I will break that out. Let's see what we got going on. Go to so I can see the chat on the screen here. Don't let me down. Let's have some Froyo contents live and in person. Get up on that. I would see the new stove. Yeah, I'm, of course I'm going to put you on the new stove. I'm not going to let you. You know, for everyday use, but when guests come, we use the good stove, right? That's the way to do it. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm. The new stove is good because the flame can really roar out of that thing. It's almost like running a walk. Yeah, when I broke out the new stove with uh, Cindy, it was like, wow. Mm. Unbelievable. I mean, that thing really goes. Yeah, crunch warning coming. It's not time. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, like wearing good clothes to church. <laughs> That's exactly it, Luce. Mm. No, Putin would never go to Poland or something. Hell no. He's going to smash and grab just like the thugs in uh, Oakland. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Nothing like a cold beer. Oh, that is wonderful. Ah. Uh. Oh, nice. Chaos will be the, the chaos will be found in economics coming up. It won't be found in war yet. Yeah, show me how to open them. Somebody said you should open from the top. I always have a problem. Right? Hey, Lisa. My mouth is closed. My family hates with lies to the kiffs. What is that? Hold the top and tear down toward the side. Okay. I'm afraid the whole thing will open up on the side, though. Spaghetti with red sauce with mushroom and stress. Who cares, Diane? Let's carve it up. Mm. Let's carve it up. Seems like he's freeing the Ukrainians from a comedian, right? The thing is, would life be any different under Russian control as opposed to Ukrainian? Probably not. We're back at the ranch, so I'm getting ready to do some cooking. Blackbird, did you get the box? No. I think you want to get it. It's got some stuff you can really use there. So. Alexa, can you play war? Make a good spaghetti and red sauce using firm crumbled tofu. Why can't we be
Yeah, it's right in the hallway. It's a big box. It's a big one. Okay. Sanctions. Ain't nobody gonna go to war for Ukraine. Straight up the hallway, Bird. Right to the front door right there. Yeah. Take the whole box and then just bust it up and put it in the uh, recycle. That's a big ass box. Actually, I, yeah, it's a big ass box, isn't it? Oh, it's got a pillow. There's a few things in there. I was open dressed to me, so I opened it and then it said inside for Blackbird, so. Oh, well, thank you. That's from Sharon. Sharon? Sharon Sheridan, yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, look it. I got a pillow. Yep. There's oh. other things in there, too. Look. I got layers on too, but the thing is, uh, Russia already took the Crimea anyway, so. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. I show you how to open peanuts. Thank you, Jamie. I'm gonna assemble my things now. <sighs> Let's get it on, man. Let us get it on. Well, you sure as hell don't think that people are going to go to war for them. All we need is another charge at a light brigade. All right, we're going to do it in a smaller pot tonight. Smaller pot going there. What's up, James? How to make a red spaghetti, as I said. Well, you're going to learn this trip, Diane. You better brush up on your uh, no excuses.
Cheryl, did we buy a big ass thing of chili powder? Didn't I buy like a big ass container of chili powder? Take care, Bianca. I know what Putin's game is. I know we bought a really big thing of chili powder. Where in the hell is it? All right. Remember, over at the uh, store, let me see if I can find it. I got the cumin. I think that should be enough. We got the salt. Yeah, I got a big job. Where in the hell is it? Maybe it's in the closet. I gotta go through my spices. I found it. We use a lot of chili here, so I found the big job here. Big institutional size. We got some cayenne pepper. Like to have a little heat. Got we got some oil. Uh, we got the cumin and we got some salt. So I'm gonna get the meat here. And the onion. We got some garlic too. Cindy did a magnificent job with what we had here. So I got one of these nice beef burgers here. And we got an onion and I got some of this uh, minced garlic here, which makes it a lot easier. So let's get it on. Let's get it on. After we drink the beer. Let's make sure our priorities are correct. Let's get a... Uh, Let's get a spoon for the garlic here. Hello. Let's get a spoon for the garlic. Blackbird. How are those pillows? Nice? Very nice. Nice. Let's finish this beer before we get gone. What's the rush? What's the rush? What is the rush? Yeah, pillows and batting nice. Oh. 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 Well, you 
you got cold weather last year, you guys snapped the grid and everybody was like, never seen anything like it. He got a couple pillows and some sheets, I think. Ah. Yeah, well, I think Putin's game, Putin's game is to get quick, get done, be gone. That's it. Get it all done and that's it. <sighs> Get it on the song. Remember last year that whole grid all went up and smoke down there and everything went down. Good evening, Dave. How are you, my friends? I'm feeling a lot better now. My crick has disappeared. My hands are warm. It's amazing. It's... it's warmer here than out there I bring my Lowry spaghetti sauce mix you add tomato <clears throat> okay sounds good oh, we've never experienced that hopefully it's all sorted out yeah sounds good Diane and I got plenty of noodles and all that so pack light don't bring a lot of stuff <clears throat> Akita, a beautiful dog. When I was stationed in northern Japan, they were very popular. Yeah, they can take the cold weather, right, Joe? They don't. They don't really feel the cold. They're like sleep outside in the snow and all that. It's like Rosie, go sleep in the snow. Really? <laughs> Yeah, Kitas, I think, are very, they're like a very fluffy dog. My side, I've been trying to get back into the bed, but I end up on the, uh, in the recliner, Flan. Yeah, that's, we're just on overpack. Just a, a good coat, a couple layers, you'll be good to go. Have an undercoat that keeps them warm, okay. Uh, bring what you want, Diane. You know the drill here. When their hips and legs didn't work properly. 32 in Ohio, not bad. That's nice. It's about 45 here. It was really getting cold out there. They have no problems in the cold. Okay, because huskies will just curl up in a ball on the snow and just sleep. Like, what the hell? <coughs> How in the hell do you do that? <coughs> inside dog, didn't it? Wasn't it too warm inside? Didn't it? Uh, just be like boiling in there or something. Uh, what's up, Mark Thompson? How are you, my friend? Good to see you. I'll bring my t shirt to wear under my. Yeah, wear it. If you got a thermal or something like that. It's going to be, uh, it doesn't look, you can look up the weather for uh, Santa Rosa. It's actually this spell, this cold spell will be open over Friday afternoon. Used to sleep in front of the wood stove. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Interesting. Who knew, right? <laughs> ACV, how are you? My <laughs> perfect kid. They don't get along with other dogs, do they? Doing good. Been busy with my new job at Walmart. Excellent. Minus 40 in our Husky. X was happy laying in the sun. Nicole, where are you again? Are you in the Dakotas or something? I got the battery heated socks. I need to get the uh, warming packs that you just open and they're warm. Sheba, she likes to be warm. Okay. This is a uh, husband's lumberjack. Yeah. Rosie, are you hungry? I'm uh, gonna cook some chili tonight. I already got that in. I have another um, dry chip. Yeah, it's, uh, maybe tomorrow night. Well, you can bird there's if you want to cook it up. There's the uh, thing. So yeah, I just I'll already got the meat already opened. It's. I'll cook some. I like. It's Wednesday. The flight thing. They all do that taco stuff. 
Yeah, I don't know why. It used to be Tuesday. Why is it Wednesday? They rode by. I, when I was coming back home, I saw them ride down. So I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, Sharon was very nice to send that to Blackbird. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Ah, delicious. If I hadn't opened, I'd already opened this beef. It's already sitting out, so I gotta use it. I will check the Santa Rosa weather. Yeah, it's gonna be better, Diane. It's not gonna be as cold as it is now because it just—it's unbelievable now. But you do get one spell every year. I don't know if you guys can see over there in the garden. You see the blue on the uh, my principal my baby there so keep that covered <clears throat> fall river 60 now 20 miles south runs through hot springs south dakota okay excuse me don't get me down I like dogs, Lisa, that are take charge dogs like that. They like they like to think they run the show on the perimeter. You know, they're very proud. Do 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 do. Woof. Woof. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, Silk Long John can do anything. I got. Uh, I have. Um, no, I don't have. I have. What do I own tonight? I have a uh, my Pike's Place Market uh, T-shirt on underneath here. I just want to freeze. Yeah, what? That's it. I have lemons, oranges, fig, apple, cherry, peach, persimmon, plums, pear. I got it all here. So the other morning, we when I was live, we squeezed some orange oranges for uh, breakfast. Had a nice big cup of OJ. Amazing. Yep, yeah. I got it all, Bob D. You can see all the videos over the years. You can see all the work that I did on putting the watering system in. I just put up the finale this morning. Check it out. Ooh. And when uh, might go up tomorrow and get another tree, so I'd kind of like to get another cherry tree. Ooh. Short spirit, it's colder where Rosie lives, yeah. Okay, Kumu Umu, bear dog. Bear with me. All right, let's get a little fire in the hole here. We've got our... Uh, good to see everybody tonight. Thanks for being on the stream. We're going to throw some garlic in here. What the hell happened to our spoon? Where did we put our spoon? It's over here. Don't get me down. CB, that orange juice was nice, wasn't it? I squeezed my ass a big cup of that. Now that's living, man. That's like a $6 glass of orange juice in a restaurant. All right, here's some... I like this pre-done garlic. I don't have to muck around with cutting it all up. Smart. We're going to get an onion. Cut this baby up, the onion. Also saves all the outer skins and stuff. She's a lot more advanced than I am though. So one onion here. We can throw this right into the head. Just keeps the rats away. Here.
get this baby and quarter it. Boom. Turn it on this side. Put some heat to it. Let's get that started right there. There we go. Can't have one in here. Still go indoor dining. And the video of the waffles are yummy because of the video. I want to buy a machine to make. Yeah, I got that at the Salvation Army about six years ago. It's a Belgian waffle uh, maker. It worked pretty good. In really good shape. Let's open up the chili here. I like how fast you can knock out a chili. You don't have to cook the shit all day long. I like fire roasted chili. So this isn't it. Gel Spice Company, Bayonne, New Jersey. Good old boo 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 Bayonne, New Jersey. Yeah, I'm cooking, baby. I got to go get the uh, canned stuff, too. Bear with me a minute. I am cooking, man. I'm in Kitchen Stadium tonight. Make sure that's plugged in. I am in Kitchen Stadium. All right, here we go. I'll let that sweat that a little bit. We're going to keep using this stove. And I'll probably order if they ever get it off backward. I'm still waiting for the parts for the boss's TV. Let me go get the uh, canned stuff here. I like tomato paste when I like stuff a little bolder if I like it slightly weaker I like to use tomato sauce so here we go we're sweating the onions a little bit with the garlic mm, that's so <laughs> oh that's nice that's so nice so nice oh no Lulu lost her dog good lord we can put our spices in at this point. A very little bit of cayenne, not too much. Do not want shit super hot. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna take our cumin. Good tablespoon of cumin in there. Get our chili powder. And that's our that's our star ingredient right there. Throw that, I'm gonna put a little more in there. 
I never measure, I always eyeball spices. And then we need some salts. Uh, it's already smelling wonderful. A little bit of salts. Let's keep the party going. Time to drop the beef in. Just bust that up. That burger in there. Oh yeah. We're working in there. We're just bringing that all together. All right, just like so. If it gets a little dry, you know why God made beer. Put a little in there. Put the heat up and let's roll. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to open up. Open up the can of diced tomatoes, 14 and a half ounce can. Don't put it in until the stuff's done browning. And the tomato paste. didn't want to come off. The burger nice and brown. Oh, I can't tell you the smell here. It smells so good. So good. Ah, uh, delicious. Diane had my chili. She's like, oh man, Rosie. That is some kind of chili there. What's the boss bitching about? Yeah, Lulu, I'm so sorry to hear about your loss, honey. Lord. So sorry, babe. Okay, in goes the tomatoes. In goes the tomato paste. I could eat this stuff all day long. Mm -hmm. Don't want to put the whole can in. All right, and then some more beer. Mm. And let's let it go. Let's let it enjoy. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline. Alright. Be back to show you in a minute.
Sorry for Lulu. I love Ms. Lulu. Oh, we're bubbling away. Probably have this tomorrow night too. Let's do a little initial taste. Mm. Man, that is so good. We just need a little more. Just a tad more chili in that baby, chili powder. And we are there. We are there. Total victory. Hello, Pauline. We need a little more salt. Just a tad more salt in there. I'm going to put the spices away. Bird, turn that down a little bit. Turn off your lights if you're head now, would you? Huh? Turn off your lights if you're head now. Save a little energy. I wouldn't even dare to tell you what the power bill was last month. Brutal. All right, we're going to let that uh, simmer away there for a little bit. Thank you, Blackbird. Well, that's a quiet. All right, cheers, everybody. Thank you, Blackbird. All right. I think uh, most men look good with salt and pepper here, but I don't usually like. Uh, I would kind of agree with that. The salt and pepper comes naturally on a man. I like black. having a little bit of chili. I gotta warm up tonight. It's been brutal here. I walk up there and today the house was like in the upper 40s. Woo! Yeah, I'm mm. Oh, this is delightful. Some of that sausage and linguine today, so. Oh, there we go. Deliscable. Deliscable. Throw some of this away. Dude, the chili is so good tonight, you can't believe how cold it is around here tonight. main bearing tree is covered tonight. I don't really know how good it does, but at least I make the effort. It's not like in 2014, though, it was 18 degrees one day. 
And my trees were much smaller and they survived, so you do alright. Let that baby simmer out a few more minutes. A little more beer. Beer in chili is amazing. And I would just get the pre-done garlic. You don't have to fiddle around with pulling all of the uh, paper off of it and all that. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. Do, 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 do. I am. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now this is keto. It doesn't have beans in it. But it's still very, very delicious. Diane had this. Yeah, I was chooching tonight. I bore up. It was really cold out there tonight, Pauline, but I did it up. I did it up. <clears throat> there ain't going to be much of a war. It's going to be over in a day or two. How you doing, Charla? What's going on? How you doing, sweetie? So sorry to hear about the loss of uh, Miss Lulu's dog. Lord. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Not salty. Perfect balance. A little trace of heat. We're going to turn that really low now. We're going to let that go a little longer. That is deliscable. Oh, deliscable. Yeah, our prayers are with the people of Ukraine, but they're once again reunited with Mother Russia, so that's it. There won't be any big difference in their life. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we let those tomatoes break down a little more. That's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah, loud piercing noise. Hey, you know, Charlotte, what do you think of Michelob Walters? Pretty doggone good, huh? Char Charlotte, would I steer you wrong? Our love for each other, would I steer you wrong? Hell to the no. Hell to the no. No way. No way. Man, those cats took off like they were on fire. <laughs> I am, said I, Papa, to really win mother to do. Oh, this is so good. 
Who oh. needs to cook it all day? Woo! Mm -hmm. Yum! Yum! That's fine, Diane. We'll do that. That's a deal. That's a deal. Nicolo Baldry is wonderful. What a great beer. If the boss were still drinking, that would be his beer of choice. Mmm. Hey, Robin. Mmm. So fucking good. <laughs> so fucking good. Diane likes my chili. Make the vegan stir fry. Yeah, we'll be all set. Just get a few ideas together, Diane. We'll have a lot of fun. Uh, tofu is fine. I like it if it's firm. I don't like a real soft tofu. But I'll eat it. I enjoy tofu. I'm all good with that. Uh, I can go vegetarian and vegan. It doesn't matter to me. Right? Good night, Dave. I like all that. Michelob, but uh, Bach. I didn't think that the Michelob gold was that much more. You have extra firm tofu. Because if it's not extra firm, it falls apart. I don't like soft tofu, though. So, hey guys, let's get some thumbs up going. If we could, if you've not hit the thumbs up button, could I kindly and politely impose on you to please migrate your finger or your mouse over to the thumbs up button and hit their thumbs up? It would be great, greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. So Panda Express makes a good one, huh? I don't know, Pauline, our pan express is horrendous here, and they didn't treat bird too well. Ugh. Yeah, you always have to, uh, I like the extra firm. It's warmer here, Jerry, than it was in Sebastopol. I would guess right now it's about 46 degrees, which isn't bad. If I can stay in the mid-twenties and above tomorrow, I'm going to be all good. Tonight, I'll be good. <clears throat> I think everything will be all good. I'm feeling a nip on my nips. It is cold, bird dude. Uh, Rancho Kitchen Stadium is still standing. Kind of like, I can only like you once. <laughs> Amanda's like, still undecided on his thumbs. Amanda, you're too much. <laughs> I love Amanda. What a great person you are, Amanda. Night after night. Spend with us here. You really are like family. This is just delicious. Mmm. Their yeah, fried oysters are good. But I like raw oysters better. Preferably be New, New Zealand ones. They're good. Or here in NorCal. Thank goodness for seat warmers. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Amanda is a sweetie. I love her. Um, I'm going to tell you, uh, 69 Camaro, the tree is starting to get a little bit crispy. Now, will we make it to um, Mardi Gras? Of course we will. And then I will carefully um, remove the decorations and the lights, and we will save them in a special container for uh, post-Christmas. So this has been beautiful. This has been wonderful. 
and I might set up Streamlabs so we can have multiple cameras, but I, I sometimes I just hate Streamlabs. The OBS is just terrible. I like flukes from getting raw seafood. Ooh. Robert, it's 12 in Oklahoma City tonight. Wow. Wow. So the question is, am I going to stop drinking for Mardi Gras? That's the real question. For uh, Lent. Hmm. Yeah, St. Patrick's tree. <laughs> it won't be green, Chevey. It'll be orange. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Don't overdo it with the cayenne pepper. You know, Dave, they said as far as conch is concerned, people either like it or they don't. It's usually a textural thing with them. Yeah, the tree will make it. Yeah, but for me, Diane, you know how much I love drinking, right? No, Kenneth, I'll be fine. There's no beans in it. No beans. I trained Bird to start turning off the lights when he goes out. <sighs> mm, delicious. Oh my God, Craig. <laughs> Craig's like, you should repackage them and give them to the boss and Janet. <laughs> uh. mm. Yeah, without beans, chili's nothing. Nope. It's not keto. I've been on my keto light since since uh, Thanksgiving. That's a long time. That's November, December, January, three months. It's not even keto. It's just a change of eating habits now. So I don't miss a lot of carbs. It makes it special. Like when Cindy came in and she made the uh, Italian sausage, and it made it really special. It made it nice. I know, Bird is like, don't bitch. It's 18 in Salt Lake City right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Fiber benefits would not overtake the carb parts. Um, it, you have to, you have to always look at net carbs. Should I even check the mail? Hold on a minute. You gotta look at net carbs, Dave. What's the net carb situation? St. Jude, but they're up my ass like every damn day. I write a check every quarter to St. Jude. Jeez. This might just make it one night. I don't know. Not many calories in it. Uh, yeah, now 
gone since the tree. No good. I want my money back. They're long gone. Uh, who cares, Toby? We're not here to promote uh, Savage Live. She doesn't mean anything on this chat. Okay. All right. Thank you, Toby. It's a meaningless uh, spamming that you put in here. So I'm going to remove that. Thank you. It's up to them. Who gives us? Who gives a flying f? Waste all your time on that drama bullshit. As if it impacts anybody's life. I can beat Stag. I can beat Stag by a landslide. Yeah, thank you, James. Ah, delicious. Delicious. Hmm. It always looks more red on camera than it actually is. This is this is brown. But damn delicious. The blackbird has returned. Blackbird's got his new pillows tonight. <laughs> Blackbird, you got your new pillows. Where did you get your hat? Oh, someone at this job gave me a bunch of hats. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got a Pixar hat. It's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. It fits you well. I got like four or five of them. Yeah, that would be great, James. It's probably going to be early May. It'll probably be it. Diane, you got to learn to cook for yourself. It's fun. I'm sure you'd be fine. Cooking is all about balance, right? Right, it's all about balance. It's all just understanding. What do, what do you want the flavor profile? Do you want it to be hot? Do you want it to be savory? Do you want it to be sweet? Do you want it to be salty? Uh, I don't know. Somebody must have, some knucklehead must have done something on the 101 freeway or something. The cops are up there. Thank you, uh, th thank you, Cheryl. Just delete that crap. As if anybody could care, anybody would care less about that bullshit. I'll just go add that, uh, Add that to my block list on here. Because you always got some kind of a-hole on here that wants to promote 
stupid bullshit that nobody cares, anybody could care less about. Let's see. Community. Let's get that name. To R E I S E R. R-E-I-S-E-R. Put that right on the uh, block list. And then we'll put this word on too. And then that bird brain will never return again. Bam, done. Yep. As if anybody gives a flying F about that in here. Got the world on the brink of economic catastrophe, and you have these asshole drama assholes that uh, act like people give a shit about what they're talking about, right. as if people give a flying f about the, their small little world of drama bullshit. Yeah, just my moderators will block and delete, they'll be gone. They'll never show up on the after chat. They'll give a shit when they lose their livelihood and their homes and can't afford to stick a gum and then they'll give a damn. Way to get back for your chooch and make your chili. Okay, Flan, thank you. That was delicious. What narrow-minded little people. Unreal. Wow, has I already been like four and a half hours myself? Oh, holy smokes, thumbs up or appreciated, guys, if you're coming in. Hit that thumbs up button. It is very appreciated tonight. Ah. And I myself, I'm going to close out for the night too. It's been four and a half hours. And I want to thank you guys for being here. A very fun night tonight. A very quick dinner. A very delicious. God bless the people of the Ukraine. And uh, also the people of Russia who probably have no wishing to be involved in this kind of stuff at all. 
And uh, I do wish you all a good night. Thank you for the thumbs up. They are appreciated. Dave and Lunas, thank you. Good to see you and Jerry and Shemay and Ed and Morning Dove. My Jody girl and Jerry and everyone else have a wonderful, wonderful night. Night all. Worry about, yeah, Pauline, God bless your mom in the hospital. And take care, everybody. Mwah. Good night. Uh-huh. <clears throat>